What the heck's going on, everybody? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. How are you doing? Happy Tuesday. It's the 7th of February, 2023. How's everybody? What's up, Jeremy Brown? Chris Biro. Chris Biro, first in the chat. We got Tyler Butterfuss, Scott Cantner, Levi Schultz, Duane Baker, Corey Wandel, Christopher Neely, Philip Dean, Marvin Martian, Bradley Simmons, Kevin Wilson. What's going on, everybody? Mr. Fireslaying dropping the gifted membership to Tanner Sewell. Well, isn't that very well? Tanner Sewell just got a gifted membership. Thank you very much, Mr. Fireslaying. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, what's up, Mr. Stearman, Fred Murphy, Brian Santor, Brandon Elchmeyer. We also got Jason Schisler. This is good evening, Frosty and chat. We got Aaron Kidder. Jack M. 2021 says, hello, Frosty. Jeremy Brown, hello. Kyle Gallant, hello as well. How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome. We're here on the uh, Ohio Richlands series. And we just got our uh, wheat field finished. I think this was wheats. Wheats? Did I just say I think this was wheats? Yeah, it was a wheats field. Yeah, we just had a wheat field harvest there. We got lots of chores to do, so we had to get the uh, harvesting done. <clears throat> oh, my baler guy's blocked. Let's go get uh, get our truck over here. Get out of his way. I've been blocking him the whole time. He could have. He probably would have been done bailing almost. I didn't realize my truck was blocking him. Surprise, surprise. So he's gonna get back to bailing there. And we had a lovely harvest. Lovely, splendid yield. If I do say so myself. But I uh, hope everyone's doing well. What's up, Mike Stilts coming in right out of the gates with the uh, $20 super chat. Thank you, Mr. Mike Stilts. Thank you very much, brother. Uh, thank you very much. That's Mike Stilts, everybody. Mr. Fire Slain also dropping the $5 super sticker with the uh, Peking Hippos. Thank you very much, sir. What's up, Gary McGee Jr.? We got Joshua Barzak. Uh, we got Brian Phelps says, have you got the fish operation going? I don't remember which farm it was on. This is the one with the fish operation. I'm hoping to uh, get that all squared away tonight. It's We still got a few months of harvest, but if you've watched me when I stream this series, we do fast forward through the days because we don't own a bunch of fields. So once we get certain tasks done, we usually fast forward time. So that's probably what will happen today. So we're going to get all this put into storage and see when wheat will be in demand. So we just got about 38,000 liters out of that field there. Oh, too shabby. Not a bad harvest. Get them thrown into storage here. All right. Drop it like it's hot. There we go. What's up, Tony Mortig? Brian Shayok. How are you? Joshua Hoffman's in here. That's a nice harvester. That's just the in-game uh, John Deere harvester. Yep. Right right off the uh, main game. Uh, what's up, Jordan Kenny? It's time to harvest corn to see. I'm hoping we do get the corn ready to harvest. That's my goal. That is my goal. All right, so we're dumping out of the bottom back side of the hopper here. We're on Ohio Richlands if you're just tuning in. Uh, what's up, Jack? How are you? <clears throat> Duan, Duan, you got beat. Mr. Brio beat you today, first in the chat. Uh, Miss Fireslam, hello, Miss Fireslam. Hey, you? All right, so we are done with the truck for now. I'm just going to tarp it up, shut her down, make sure the lights are off. Uh, nothing else to harvest at the moment. But like I said, I'm hoping we can uh, bring some corn in a little later. Uh, but we do need to get the harvester out of the way so our our uh, hired baler man can take care of business. So we got straw bales. We got some uh, silage bales that need just taken over to the uh, dairy farm. Lots of bales. But they're already made, so that's a good thing. What's up, Hooves? Says good eye, mate. What's up, Hooves? How are you, laddie? 
Uh, so how was your day, Frosty, and what was for dinner? Uh, Domino's. It was at school. So tonight was science fair night. Uh, so we took the kids to school. They had all these, like, things they signed up to do. I think they made... Well, my I was with my daughter. She made a lava lamp. She learned about uh, dissolving ink. Uh, uh, what was the other one? A tornado bottle. You know how you make the tornado in a bottle. And then one other thing. A wind... Something. I forget what the other thing was. Yeah. So we had a science fair to go to tonight. And pizza was served at the science fair. So I had some dominoes. Uh, hey, Frosty, I'm watching you on my 70 inch, says David. Oh, goodness, Lottie, I must look huge. I must look like a big giant. Crap. I do that every time. I never, I never put the header all the way back where it should be. <laughs> All right, so we'll just run this back to the house real quick. We'll let our hired worker keep uh, baling straw bales there. And get this thing sprayed off, fueled up. I don't think I've ever put fuel in this harvester. It's on a half a tank. That shows you how much we don't really harvest on this map. Because we were on, what, episode nine, and it's only on a half a tank of burned fuel. We only own one, two, three... One, two, three fields that can be, like, harvested. The other one's a grass field. Um, I do have a worker cultivating right now. So he's taking care of business for us. And then we can maybe get a new crop in. We're, we use seasons on this map, so I don't know for sure if there's any... Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's something we can plant in the month of July. We'll figure something out. Uh, let's see. Do I am doing good? Just relaxing. What's up, Tony Knight? How's Tony doing this evening? Let's get this bad boy sprayed off. We should probably put some fuel in it. I don't know where my fuel bay is. Ah, eh, we'll be all right. I don't need no fuel. Uh, hey, Frosty, throwing us off with the early start. Yeah, I, I, I didn't feel like waiting another 15 minutes, so I just went live. I was ready to get the ball rolling. You know what I'm saying? Figured, why not? Start a little bit early. Make up for multiple times I've been a little late, you know? Yeah. Uh, Red Iron Farms is like your hat. We've got three farm alls and one case age. Come on, baby. I got the uh, international in the garage over here. I'll show you. That's the one we. Uh, well, no, the international's out on the field bailing right now. Yeah, you might have just seen that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing pretty good. I just need to get a supporter back from somebody. Get a supporter back from somebody. Huh? Uh, what's up, Channing Hensley? And hi, Frosty. Tried from work. Work went well work went well uh, orientation went well is that what you mean Jessica yeah I think you said you had orientation today so it sounds like it went well good stuff good stuff a little tight in here oh, I, th I think we got a safe uh, spot to back in here yeah oh yeah that's nice now it'll work Not the biggest uh, storage shed in the world, but it gets the job done. Park right about here. We do have Miss Frosty with us as usual. All right. All right, so where's that hired worker at? Maybe I'll relieve him of his duties. Wow, well, is he? There he is. Yeah, let's... uh. Let's take over for him. I did purchase a new cultivator. I think I rented it because we didn't really have enough money to blow. So didn't rent it. I leased it. It's leased to own. We have the lease to own mod. So we got ourselves an, a little bigger cultivator. We didn't even own a cultivator. 
I realized we didn't even own one, so I purchased one. Because we were, like, mulching and then direct drilling. And I figured with the cultivator, I can mulch, cultivate, roll, and then plant with the uh, seed consolidation mod and not have to roll a second time. So that's why I purchased a uh, cultivator. Got back tomorrow, full days of work. Nice. My 18-month-old's second word was tractor. Raised right, I'll say so. That's a, that's a good uh, first word. <laughs> or second word. What was the first word? Mama or daddy? Which one? Is Van Bosky in here? Where's Van Bosky? Where's old Van Bosky in now? Bubba G Shrimp says, what's up, Frosty? Good evening to y'all. What's up, Shrimp? Bubba G Shrimp. So yeah, I think we pay like two grand a month to uh, keep this cultivator. But that's the cool thing about lease to own mod. Eventually we'll own it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, we'll get this. Uh, why is my steering wheel like that? What the heck, man? Steering wheel like that, folks. steering wheel like that oh because i had a hired worker yeah i forgot about that it's got a mind of its own thing is not lowering there you go all right back at it <laughs> uh what's up watchdog what's watchdog doing today hello hello FS Club fan. What's going on there, sir? Uh, let's see. Good day, Frosty. How's your Tuesday? Says so Sparky. Quite splendid. Thank you for asking. Hello, Scott J. Douglas. Yeah, I literally just got home from a uh, science fair for the kids. So, yeah. Let the dogs out. Yeah, I let the dogs back in. Yeah. I had to leave a little early to uh, go live on time. So that's, I figured I got home earlier than I thought I would. So went went live even earlier. What's up, Frosty? BP Productions. Hello, BP Productions. All right, so we'll get this cultivated. By the time we get this done, we will hire someone to roll the field. And then we can... Uh, Head over to the farm, over to the wheat field, and get those uh, straw bales finished. Then we got to deliver wrapped bales to the dairy farm, deliver straw bales to the dairy farm. And then from that point, I think we'll fast forward time. Because by then, everything will be done. I've already put slurry on the grass field, so it's 100% fertilized, ready to rock and roll until it's uh, ready to cut again. So yeah, been keeping up on things on Ohio Richlands. Our next big purchase will be a field, which I don't know if that'll happen tonight or not. I don't think we'll come up with enough money to purchase a field. Uh, what's up, Mr. Detweiler? How's it going there? And I did finally get a text back from my parents about the uh, big old train catastrophe that happened in Ohio and they were fine. They were out of, away from the area that had to evacuate so it was all good for them. But I was wondering because like I said, I used we used to live like right behind the railroad tracks but I think it happened closer on the PA end Closer to the PA line is where it happened, I think. What's up, Red Acres? How's Rat doing today? Right. Nice and straight there. So that texture right there on the ground, 
That is what a mulched field looks like after you've fertilized it with uh, solid fertilizer. That's the texture. Looks a lot better than the mulched texture. And I never realized how nice it looked. Looks pretty good that way. So yeah, that's what that is. So if you want to be able to see what you're doing, like some people like using a shallow cultivator, especially if you've got, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, precision farming mod. So if you mulch a field and then shallow cultivate it, they almost look identical, the texture. So a good habit to have is mulch, then fertilize, so it makes it dark like that texture there, and then cultivate and then roll. Because you can't roll until you've cultivated. It won't let you roll over a just mulched field. All right, so there's your tip for the night. You're welcome. What part of Ohio are you from? My family is from Cincinnati and Alexandria, Kentucky. I lived over like near Youngstown, right on the PA Ohio line, real close. It was like an hour from Pittsburgh and an hour from Cleveland. Well, maybe a little further. But, uh, yeah. It was, like, right in the middle of those two big cities. All right, now we got this section to finish. What do you think of the new cultivator? It's quite splendid. Isn't it nice? Gets the job done. Got the old 7930 pulling it, no problem. Big old beefy tires. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good, daddy. Real good. Got some missed patches from the hired worker, I guess. Nope, I do the same thing, Van Booski. I love banana peppers. Ugh, I don't like banana peppers. Yucky. Yeah, I can't do banana peppers. I don't like the smell of them either. Ooh. I remember... Uh, when I was younger, working at the pizza shop, Papa John's, I think it was. If you ever had like a, have you ever had a hangnail and got banana pepper juice in a hangnail? Woo, baby, that the burns, very painful. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's happened to. Come on, where's my banana pepper juice hangnail people at? Huh? What's up, Adam Groves? How are you? It would look better if you used it with the straight line mod. Ooh. Do I have that activated? Ah, I don't... I, son of a dirt nut. I don't have it activated. Dang it. And I think the only way you can use that is if you install the GPS unit into your vehicle. I could be wrong. I don't know. But I don't think I have that mod activated right now. <laughs> These fields aren't that big. They're not too bad. And I think Friday will be on uh, Upper Mississippi River Valley map again, like we were last Friday. That seems to be a good day that works for uh, Pleasant View. Would love to have him join us as much as he can, because uh, he had a good time, and I think uh, you guys enjoyed having him as a guest. So yeah, Friday we'll be back on Mississippi. Love banana peppers on tuna fish. What? I looked up the train derailment. I was a controlled burn. It was easier to burn than let it leak into the environment and easier to clean up. And four. Oh, yeah, it burned for days. Because it happened. I forget what day it happened exactly, but it just kept burning and burning and burning. You have to pay 15k per piece of equipment to add GPS. That's what I thought. <laughs> So it, it actually might be activated. I would just have to uh, have it installed on the tractor. So yeah, I, I might have it activated. I'll take a look here in a little bit. All right, cultivating is done. Now we can uh, hire some jack whacker to roll the field. And that'll be enough for uh, this field until further notice. 
I'm on. Things are getting dirty. Look at all this blue equipment we have. That wasn't even planned. It was just the most affordable stuff we could get, so that's what I got. But it is my favorite color, so. Not complaining. Looks quite lovely. Alright, let's get this unfolded and get a route set up for a hired worker. I can't remember if I made one, so we'll just make a new one real quick. Uh, clockwise. Edlin. Generate. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, there we go. And let's just, ah, see? There's that nice texture. And I accidentally hit nearest, uh, son of a I hit nearest instead of first waypoint. I do that every time. I swear I do that almost every stinking time. All right, let's click on first waypoint. There you go. That should fix the situation. Uh, let's see. We got Nick DeBar coming in with a $20 super chat as well. So, hello, Frosty. Thank you very much, Nick DeBar. Hope all is well for you. It's doing splendid. Just got back from a uh, science fair for the kids. Uh, thank you very much, Nick. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, banana pepper number 33 down the hatch. Blue and green go good together. They do. It does look nice. I agree. Uh, thank you so much, Nick. Appreciate you, buddy. I love banana peppers. I eat them right out of the jar, and I drink the juice. All right. Okay. I made barbecue sauce tonight and used three ghost peppers. My wife isn't happy. You didn't tell her about it? Oh, yeah. I'd be a little PO'd, too, if you didn't, if you didn't even tell her. I'd probably want to smack you real good up Austin Estadams. It happened right by the leak oil gas. Oh, leak oil. I remember where that is. That's a good place to get gas. It's usually the most affordable place. Oh, yeah, that was that was far enough away from town then. That wasn't, wasn't that bad then. Ah, uh, my wheel's acting up. There we go. All right. So the roller situation's looking good. We'll let the hired worker keep doing their thing. Uh, only thing that needs done on this field is planted and fertilized one more time. So we'll let them keep rolling. We are going to go check out the uh, bailing situation. Beautiful day. It's a July, July 1st. It's just beautiful and sunny out. You hear my heels clicking? Click, 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 click. All right, is he done working yet? What a slacker. What a stinking slacker. I'll do it myself. All right. So there, must, there was a bale in his way, so he just decided to quit working. <laughs> so we will do this ourselves. Only a few swipes to finish. You'll drive the big John Deere. All right, Matt. Go, go. Have at it. It's all yours, bruh. It's all yours, bruh. Bringing in some nice straw bales here. We're not going to worry about every little patch. Because we're not really desperate for bales. Just as long as we get the majority. Howdy, Frosty. I see you deviated from your normal start time. What you got plans? Drop or give me 20. I just got home a little earlier than planned. 
and I was ready to go, so I figured, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just went live. I didn't think anybody would be too upset, but we've got a few complaints, I see. A few complaints. And that's fine, I understand. I threw you for a loop, I apologize. Hi, right, what's up, Mouse M? Good evening, Frosty, and all the beautiful people in here. This is Logan Golder. Hello. I eat everything f pot. I raise my own peppers, all sorts. Ah, oh, gotcha. Yeah, I, I don't like hot stuff. I can't handle it. Uh, you actually said it right. Kudos, bro. Well, thank you very much. Stidams. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the stream was tomorrow. Yep, there'll be one of those tomorrow, too. Uh, what's up, Ryan Baltz? Hello. We do have uh, time lapse. Ashton Corners time lapse scheduled for lunchtime tomorrow. 12 o'clock noon. Be there or be square or round. Uh, nice looking straw bale. Yep, there's the old uh, international working hard. Yes, very nice. One of my favorite tractor mods, I think. I love that. Thing. But yeah, our grass field to the left there, I've already got all the bales up off the field and covered it with slurry. So it is just good to go. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be very nice. I'll be at school. How was your day? Frosty's going for a 12-hour stream tonight, Kevin. Who said that? Getting ready to do some farming myself, says Logan. Oh, very nice. Right. We got the Vicon Fast Bale. Automatic. Just spits them out and drops them. And just keep on rolling. Before they start mixing the dye with the new pepper spray, I cooked with old pepper spray, says Watchdog. Oh, very nice. Fire Slane, I just read your comment, but thank you. He sends it in a $5 super chat as well. I just read that like a few minutes ago, you jackwhacker. Uh, I looked up the derailment and the fire was a control burn. They set it off to control leaking and easier cleanup. Thank you very much. Thank you, Fire Slam. Yeah, did you see some of the photos? Pretty nasty, huh? It was a uh, it was a big blazing fire when it first started. Uh, do you watch much Bluey with your kids? Bluey? What the heck is Bluey? I don't know what Bluey is, Hooves. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what Bluey is. Blue's Clues? I've seen Blue's Clues, but I've never heard of Bluey. Sorry. No, I'm just a weird person. I just, I don't know. I talk in all different weird ways. It's, it's, I don't, I don't know why I do. This is, um, you know, I'm just a little on the odd side. I think we all are at the end of the day. We all have a little odd part about us. Mine, one of my odd things is just... I don't know. Talking in different accents, I guess. <laughs> Obviously, he wasn't paying attention. That's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Animated dog cartoon. They think it sounds like you. I'll have to look it up. Bluey. Well, Blue's Clues, he was a dog, but he didn't talk. He just he just went... Roar, roar. Roar, roar. Roar, roar. He didn't talk, though. Happy birthday, almost, Vambuski. When's your birthday? Frosty, if it's if it's 1st of July in-game, then that means my birthday will be in two days in-game. Well, see, that's the thing. They skip. They go from July 1st to July 15th, because I only do two days a month. So, sadly, they skip your birthday altogether. I apologize. Sorry. They skip it, brother. They skip it. All right, final swipe of straw. And then uh, we'll go deliver the wrapped bales, come back, pick up all these straw bales, 
and get both sets of bales over to the dairy farm. That makes me angry. It's very sad, isn't it? It's a good thing uh, Mandy didn't hear you say what is Bluey. She might not watch anymore. Oh, really? I gotta look up what Bluey is. I've never heard of it. That's like the first time I've ever ever even heard of it. So I will have to look that up. Uh, Kyle Walters coming in with a gifted Big Rig Frosty membership. Going to Jason Landon. How does it... I, I thought Jason Landon... Didn't you get gifted one last night? That doesn't even make any sense. I swear it just said you got gifted one la yesterday. Maybe, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm getting it mixed up with something else. I don't know. But congratulations. I thought you just got one. Uh, Vambuskis, we can still have a party, though. Kevin and Duan can bring the cake. Doesn't a good cake just sound good right now? Miss Frosty's got us eating so healthy. Ugh, it's like too healthy. There's like nothing in the house that's fun. Nothing fun. It's very frustrating. Like, I go look in the cupboards and the, the snack, that what used to be a snack drawer. I'm like, where's all the good stuff? All I see is all this healthy crap. I'm like, oh, man, I'm about to lose my mind. But it's good for us, so it is what it is. I just smile and say, thanks, honey. Thanks for the the dried chickpea snack thing. I don't know what even what it's called or what it is, but thanks. And I almost like gag on it because it's so dry. I go out to the garage where we have a, a second refrigerator for like it used to be for all my my happy drinks. I go out there, it's completely empty. There's one little like kid-sized bottle of cranberry juice. That's the only thing in that refrigerator. Oh, and two little things of Mott's applesauce, pear flavor. Yeah. Whatever. All right, I'm bringing this back to the house. We are done baling straw. Looks pretty good, huh? Too shabby. And good. We'll get this equipment all sprayed off and parked. No more bailing for a little while. I gotten back into watching the TV show Dinosaurs. <laughs> Ooh, check this out. So you know how we always had issues with how, well, we couldn't even hire workers because the silo was there. Well, I did a little landscaping. I just cut out a little bit of the grass field. So now there's plenty of room if you do a headland you go around the perimeter of that at least once there's plenty of room for a hired worker to cut grass tether rake everything so i don't know why it took me that long to do that but we finally got it taken care of so there you go there you go plenty of room now let's get her sprayed down and parked up Uh, nice, some Ohio Richlands to enjoy work. Hello, Frosty. What's up, EY Blue Dragon? Welcome to the show. Yeah, this is uh, episode nine, or part nine of this uh, Let's Play series. It's, it's a fun map. I like it. I like it a lot. And then I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't know if I... Uh, I kind of want to get back on Bally Springs. I haven't done that in like two weeks. So you might see Bally Springs tomorrow night. Got to make improvements. Can somebody send me a support? Just, Tony, stop asking for a supporter badge, you weirdo. Peace. Uh, what's up, Podo Games? What's going on, brother? Instead of asking for one, if you want one so bad, just become one, you jackwhacker. Don't keep asking people for it. Uh, you need to get a new Holland, says Suzette. Uh, New Holland. I wouldn't mind having a little blue on the farm, actually. I wouldn't mind a little blue. A little blue would be nice. But all my equipment's blue. Yeah, I, I saw you say something about being a supporter like five times now. I was like, is he going to stop or is he just going to keep asking? So now I'm telling you to stop. 
because you're annoying. And it's it looks annoying to everybody else for you to keep asking. So, yeah, if you don't want to be a supporter, that's great. But don't be asking people to be a, to give you a gifted sub. That's kind of rude, to be honest. Uh, where did your wash percent go? That's on another map, actually. That's on... That's on another pro uh, folder of profiles, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's on. Uh, that's in my folder that has all my uh, the ones I use a crap ton of mods on. So here's what I do: Ohio Richlands and my survival series. That's the only thing I use this mod folder for is Ohio Richlands and my survival series. So now, and here's our corn. I'll show you why we can't harvest it yet because it's not fully grown, but I think we might get to it tonight. That's my goal. It's, it needs two more months to hit growth stage six. And then on the seventh month, it'll be ready to harvest. And everything, like I said, everything's pretty much caught up. This is ready. The other fields getting rolled right now. So while that field's getting finished being rolled, let's go deliver these real quick. Damn! Uh, how's the fishies coming along? We don't have any corn in there yet. We're gonna have, we don't have any corn yet. I was just gonna ask if I can get a subscriber badge. Yep, you just hit subscribe. This is turning into a corny stream. It's getting corny. It's Bailey too, a lot of bales. And I activated all the uh, dirt mods, like the real dirt and all that stuff. So now, because I was driving through a grass field, my dirty truck turned into a green splatter truck. So, kind of nasty looking. Ooh, he's already done almost rolling there. Got this section over here to finish. And then all kinds of little pieces we'll have to uh, clean up on our own. I uh, love seeing you on Ohio as a current Ohioan. The fields and landscape are very reminiscent of here. Yeah. It's a good map. I've, like I said, this is the ninth sh live stream of it. So I've, I've been enjoying it. I've been wanting to maybe sell this truck. Not, it's not that I don't like it. I just kind of wanted something new, something different. Um... I'll show you the one I was kind of look wanting to get, and then I'll let you guys decide if we should get a new truck tonight. I'll put up a little poll, like I always do. You can help me decide. But we've had this since episode one. It's got 5.4 hours on it. I'm just ready for, uh, you know, a change of visual, a different style truck. Google. Wash the truck, says Watchdog. We'll wash it if we sell it. If we sell it tonight, I'll wash it and get it all shined up before we sell it. How's that sound? Ugh. Can't we mute Kevin because he said wash that truck? Ah. Sell it. That truck needs washing anyway. That's the only way I'm going to wash it is if we sell it. All right, so all these bales, they're not really ready to ferment. They're not fermented, so they're not silage. They're just grass with wrapping around it. So we're going to leave them over here for now. So I don't get them mixed up with the ones that are good. But yeah, you can see how we're running a little low on, on stuff. We're almost out of hay. We're almost out of silage. So that's why I made a ton of silage bales. All right. And since we're sitting over here, let's get the cows fed. I already made a preload of TM all. So we'll get them rocking and rolling here. If you didn't catch the last show, we upgraded our mixer to a 30,000 liter mixer. It takes way less amount of trips to feed the cows now. So it is large. And it is full of TM all. I thought those were water jugs. Big old water jugs. Uh, what's up, Ann? Says, hi, everyone. I'm still recovering well from COVID. Good, 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 good. Um, 
Kevin, no, what are you thinking? I like it dirty. I know you do. I know you do. Oh, Frosty, good night. Got to go to bed, work early in the morning. Jessica, get your butt to bed. And congratulations. Uh, hope the new job treats you well. Are you on PC or phone? That there, one at the corner that you turn at, says Donald. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I, you're right. I do need to. There was a bail back at that one intersection. And this this mixer is huge. The Rhino. There we go. Keep an eye. Ooh, by the way. Um, all those YouTubers you guys told me to write down that are like dairy farmers. The Iowa, the Iowa dairy man. I love that guy. Yeah, I, I, I binged the other night before I fell asleep. I watched like almost all his content in one night. <laughs> he's good. I like him. He's good. He's, he's straight up honest. He, he takes care of the haters too. Good stuff. Good stuff. Bum, 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 bum. What's up, Mandy McKinley? Oh, Mandy McKinley. D have you, Mandy, have you ever heard of Bluey? Isn't, isn't Bluey awesome? Such a good show. Um, John, John acted like he didn't know who Bluey was. It's like, are you kidding me? So I figured maybe you knew. But Mandy, yeah, Bluey, such a good show. Such a good show. Oh, I can't wait to... Uh, watch it more this is so good all right that's enough feed for a little bit that'll hold them off for a month or two maybe not two months but at least a good month and then we'll also get some uh, straw bedding thrown in there get that topped off It is, isn't it great, Mandy? It's such a good show. Uh, yeah, Iowa Dairy Farm is great. He's good. He's good. Uh, how, how, howdy, indeed. Frosty is lying. No. Me? Huh. Uh, let's see. What's up, Sunny531? How's Sunny doing tonight? All right, I'm going to hook up to my little straw shredder. The shredder. And then uh, once we get some bedding put in, I'll show you the uh, statistics on the cows. So you know I'm not, like, starving them to death. They are healthy. They're very healthy, and they're very happy. Come on, baby. What's going on here? Oh, wasn't lowered enough. There we go. Happy cows. Happy cows. We're we're not running low on straw, but we only have one field to harvest, so we're bringing all those straw bales over. Because I don't know how long before we'll have more straw. So that'll be what we have the most of. It's lots of straw. All right, let's shut that down, and I'll give you a little animal statistic look here. All right, chickens, eh, good enough. And then we own cows. So TMR, maxed out pretty much. Straw, they could probably use a little more, but we don't need to. That looks good. They are about busting from the seams on slurry. So I do need to get some of that slurry out of there. So that'll be something we have to uh, accomplish at some point tonight. All right, head back to the farm. Oh, what's up, Lee Dalton, Ian Oppenheim. Hello, sir. 
I know you're lying for all... I'm not lying, Mandy. I mean, I might be. Uh, what's up, Leonard Hickey Jr.? How are you? It's a kid's show, but I totally watch it without Aubrey. It's that good, huh? I... I don't remember any kid's shows when my kid's growing up that I would want to watch without them. Like, none. No. When they were... F finally fell asleep... That channel was changed, like, very quickly. Yeah. Everyone hit the smile faces, BP. You hit it, BP. Good evening, David Sheikhan Dance. How are you? You ain't sold that truck yet? We're gonna sell it. Maybe. I gotta put up a... Hey, I gotta put up a poll. Let me put up a poll. I can't make decisions on my own. Start a poll. Sell old pickup and get new one. Yes, ne? Yeah, there you go. Let you guys decide. Uh, what's Iowa Dairy Farmer? He's good. Iowa. Watch, I, I just said, I, I watch him. Or do you mean you watch him? Are you trying to tell me you watch him too? Yeah, he's good. I like him. I like uh, how the haters will send him like messages or make videos of how they don't like the way he does things. And then he, he gives them a little education lesson. That's good. I like that stuff. I like that a lot. I like it. He does a good job. He reminds me of how I would be if I was a dairy farmer. That's the, the minds. Like, I'd, I could see myself acting just like him. It's pretty cool. Uh, Bluey is a great time, says Adam. Yeah, really good. The pickup you're driving now is supposed to be the Toyota TRX. I believe so. But they call it the TLX. <laughs> yeah. And we've had it since the first episode. So, thinking it's time to, you know, hang up the jersey and trade it in. We might actually end up making some money. I think the one I'm want, wanting to get is cheaper overall. Alright, so we're going to go pick up all these straw bales. I don't know if we'll be able to get them all in one load. We will try to the good times, yes. And then uh, we'll also get some slurry put on this field. I gotta get rid of some slurry. I got too much of it. Oh, uh, you're alright, Tony. It's just. Well, I was just being honest. It annoyed me. You kept asking over and over. I just thought it was kind of rude, that's all. Like, if I was on the other end of this... Like, if I was the... View well, I, I am a viewer to a lot of streamers. I, that's, like, the last thing I would ever do is... Go into someone's stream asking over and over again for someone to gift me a subscription. I just... I, that's That's me, though. We're all different, I guess. Um, Jacob, sorry, can't help with that. Uh, I'm sorry, Frosty on the poll, you put C, pick up. Ah, whatever. C, sell, scratch, smell, eat, lay on, what, whatever. I just want to know if you want me to get another one. <laughs> Frosty, are you going to pause the stream so you can watch the President's State of the Union address? Really? Or did you really just ask me that? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Mm, 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 mm. You are a funny, funny little man, Kevin Flores. But I love you. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's up, Mr. Beetle Betts? What's going on, brother? Mr. Vanderford, how's Justin doing this evening? Let's get this thing rocking and rolling. 120,000 liters of straw. 
And I am going to have to clean up these uh, missing patches all over that field. Even, even course play. I can't even get course play to do this job right. Look at that. Look at that hot mess. Like, I can't even, I can't even look at it. Let's go fix it right now. Tired of messing around. Just do it myself. Is, is there a way to master course play to be able to... I just... I just don't know. I just don't know. He's a fine man. Oh, hooves. Oh, boy. Get a heavy Chevy. Uh, let's all take a pause to appreciate that we're watching Frosty instead of the State of the Union. Hey, to each their own. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Uh, what's up, Rabid Rob? Super Sprint says beep. Yeah. Super Sprint. <laughs> the trailer so... The trailer so triggers my OCD it's got room for two... I know! I wish I could fit them on there. It, it doesn't like picking them all up for some reason. Yeah, that's annoying too. But it does hold quite a good amount of bail. I'm gonna let a traffic jam start up. Pretty excited about that. Whee! It wasn't uh, put down all the way yet. Man, that neighbor's field is looking rough. Woo! You got some big old weeds up in dark. At least one side of the field looks a little better, huh? <laughs> it was looking rough. I was gonna say something, but thought it wouldn't be nice. Uh, the drift was majestic. Thank you very much. I love doing forestry in this game. I love making empty pallets. <laughs> you lock that, don't ya? Empty pallets. How's simulation, Scotty simulation doing today? Happy Taco Tuesday. I had Domino's. I broke the Taco Tuesday law. The bad boy. I don't care about like these little tiny little patches. Yeah, it ain't a big deal. Once we get these big chunks. Frosty drain. If you're on council and you have the Ohio Richland map, you would sleep on it. You would pass time on it. All right, one last little patch. I think I missed another little... I don't know. My mind's spinning right now. Good. I used to make pallets at my old job too, did ya? I used to break down pallets a lot because they'd be all like mangled from heavy freight at the uh, RNL warehouse. So we used to just break them up all the way and throw them into a big old container. And then uh, after work, people would grab them all and use them for firewood. This thing lowers way too slow. I tried to hit that spot and long shot it way too far. All right, that's the final patch, and that'll be good for the rolling session. Shoot, I blew it on that field. You sure did, Matt. I left a patch. My dad would be would already be mad. Yeah, I got a... I don't know what I'm doing wrong on course play. Sharp edge, smooth edge. It doesn't matter how I calculate the route. Oh, uh, you know what? Probably need to do, uh... You know what? You know what would probably work better? 
I don't know, maybe like offset? Because you can change the way it's offset. Maybe that would help. Ah, I'll figure it out eventually. Ah, uh, Mr. Vanderford! Coming in with the five gifted Big Rig Frosty memberships, one going to Outlaw Railroad. BP, or not BP, uh, Adam Lawson. Hoops is getting one. Scotty Carpenter and Pontus Stenberg. That sounds like the starting lineup of like a, I don't know what that sounds like. Outlaw Railroad, Adam Lawson, Oofs, Scotty Carpenter, Pontus Stenberg. All set sail to find new regions out in the ocean. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Vanderford, for the five gifted memberships. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, thank you. How are you tonight, says Eric Taylor. I'm doing, I'm doing all right. Just cleaning up all the missed patches. I'm doing all right. I kind of do want my dirt percentage thing back. Hodo uh, reminded me that I need to download that on this uh, mod folder. Because that is a nice little mod. It lets you know when you fully wash something all the way. It's, very, it's much needed. It's one of those mods you just have to have. You gotta know when your stuff's 100% clean. Very important. I mean, all of the 2,000 mods I have are very important. They each play a very crucial part to each stream that I stream. What am I doing right now? I wanted to check the uh, calendar, see if there's anything worth planting. Uh, there's not. Only thing we could put in that field is <laughs> poplar. Poplar. Uh, grass or oilseed radish. I ain't putting any of that in there. So that field's pretty much gonna sit there looking pretty for quite some time. Because we have nothing to do on it for now. All right, so we can get back to uh, delivering our straw bales. Here we go. What's up, deer hunter? Uh, also, Platinum DLC has houses. Otherwise, they have some on the mod hub for free. Oh, yeah, tons of houses on the mod hub. Tons of them. What's up, Kale Hansen? Oh, I missed more than one spot, that's for sure. How's Kale doing? A starting lineup of the world's best badminton team. <laughs> the world's best badminton team. All right. Oh, we didn't, we didn't, we weren't able to pick up all the straw bales, were we? Dang it. I'm gonna park all these next to the last batch we brought. Because by the time I run through all my other stuff, those other wrapped bales will be fermented, and then I'll have these sitting right next to them. So we can start unloading from that side. That's what we've been doing. We've been switching sides once we run out of bales. Nice hefty load of straw. How's the chat doing? Uh, what's up, Pleasant View? Hello, sir. And uh, I think I already stated that a little bit ago, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be on uh, what you call it, the Mississippi River map on Friday again, because I think that is the day that'll work best to be able to have uh, Pleasant View join us, because he usually doesn't have to work on the weekends. Just dump those out of the way. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. It's all right. I actually need those two bales I knocked over. I actually needed those. Uh, let's see. Have a good one, BP. What's up, Amber Walker? Thank you for that snow cone. Thank you very much. 
I was craving some ice cream on the way home from the uh, science fair thingy I went to tonight. I wanted ice cream so bad, but I controlled myself. I just kept driving. I bone driving. Man, I wanted it so bad. I almost wanted, uh, lately I've been craving the, uh, cookie crumble mocha from Starbucks. Oh, gosh. It's like my favorite drink. One of my favorite drinks ever. It's so good. Oh, so good. <laughs> you love ice cream? Me too. Ice cream does not last long in my house. Between myself, my wife, the two kids, I'm not kidding. Like, we get, uh, you know, your standard, what is it, like a quart or two? I don't know what the standard things are. They're gone, like, in less than two days. They just disappear. So I have a process. I usually let the rest of the family have a little bit of it. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this off. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, I usually let them eat whatever they're going to eat, and then whatever's left over, I just grab the whole container, go hide, and eat the rest. So it doesn't last. It does not last very long. Eh? You mean you like to drink your desserts? Sometimes. Oh crap, she is a mod. Oh yeah, she's been a mod the whole time I've been on YouTube. So she will get rid of you if she has to. Uh, do you find yourself craving sugar less often since you cut it out? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I still want it. No, I still want it. Ow! You know what? Screw that bale. That bale can sit there forever. I'm not playing that game. Uh -uh. I ain't playing that game, Daddy. I just spent too much time putting that bale in there. For it to fall out, it can stay there. That'll be a memory sitting there. Isn't there a larger straw shooter? You better watch your mouth, Austin. You're getting a little spicy. Uh, yes, there is we're full on straw yeah there is but I, I don't need it see we're already topped off 38,000 liters as long as I keep up on it I don't have to do it too often it's all good Mike it's all good you know how we roll it's all good alright we're gonna run back and where'd my truck go we're gonna get the rest of the straw bales off that field And votes are looking like 73% want to uh, sell the truck. Maybe we'll sell the truck before. Wait a minute. Let's sell the truck before. No. Yeah. Yeah, we'll sell the truck before we uh, come back with bales. Yes, sir. And I'll pick up this wild uh, hay bale that fell off. Who knows when that fell off? It's just been sitting in the grass for a while. There we go. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Uh, Johnny, I don't think you know who you are. Crap. Johnny. Johnny. Where's Johnny? It's not Johnny Brad, is it? Oh, crap. Johnny Brad in here? I don't know. He ain't in here, is he? He didn't figure out how to slip through the cracks. I've never deleted so much stuff on a Facebook group in my life. And when Johnny Brad used to post all his stuff, he talk about the most inappropriate stuff ever. <laughs> it's just deny, 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 decline, 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 decline. And he just kept doing it. I was like, I keep declining it. Why do you keep putting it? But he thought it was, he thought it was funny. 
Oh, it's Johnny Depp. What's up, Johnny Depp? How's Amber Heard doing? How's Amber been? All right, bales, bales, bales. Oh, we'll get the rest of them here. No problemo. And we'll get some slurry put in there, too. Some slurry put on the fields, eh? One hiding over here. Roy. There you go. Those bales aren't even worth uh, running. That's not much. We'll just sell them real quick. Make a few extra dollars. Drop it like it's hot. Thirty-eight hundred bucks. Thank you very much for the thirty-eight hundred bucks. All right, we're gonna go uh, sell this first. Let's give it a wash. This will be the first time we've washed this truck since we started this uh, play series. Oh my goodness. You're about to get all cleaned up to go to the prom. All right, let me end that uh, poll. 75% said yes. 119 votes. Only 25% said do not get a new truck. Well, sorry. We're getting a new truck. All right. We've been denied. All right, here we go. This might take a minute. That's some heavy, heavy mud. That is nine episodes of gunk. Yeah. It's looking real nice. Any doubts? Anybody changing their mind? Yeah, yeah. Isn't it beautiful? This is uh this is where we'll spawn our new truck. All right, let's sell this one first, see how much she's worth. She was a good truck. She was all right. 180 bucks to repair, 1,000 bucks to repaint. We're gonna sell it for $35,634. We had it for 23 in-game months and operated it for real 5.6 hours. All right, goodbye. I hope I have enough money for that other truck. <laughs> All right, so this is this just came out to the mod hub. This one right here. I I forget the modder Mac Truck Gamer or something Mac Truck something. Uh, but this is the truck I want, a flatbed service truck. I just thought it looked pretty cool. So engine setup, we can do stock gas, turbo diesel. Of course, we want to go to turbo diesel. Ooh, we might be leasing this truck. That is expensive. So this costs more than the other one. Alrighty. Uh, Continental. We got Lizard Brand. Uh, let's see what Lizard Brand options we have. Lifted Suspension. Standard. Continental with Lifted. Standard. I like that look right there. And then the uh, fuel tank, probably go with like a onyx black. And then main body color, doesn't have to be blue, um, but I like blue. But yeah, let's go with a different color. I'll probably still want to go with blue, blue, right? Look at that old beast, isn't that nice? That truck's buggy on my maps, is there? Uh, that's a mirror, lifted, should we do lifted? Yeah, I probably should do, it, it kinda does look better lifted. I just don't wanna be tipping over when I pull the, uh, when I pull the uh, bale trailer and stuff. We could do just a good old, uh, white's a little too bright.
something gray is kind of sharp. Ooh, we could do gunmetal. We could do we could do a podo. We could do it uh, to uh, represent. Do podo uh, gunmetal. Is there a gunmetal? Silver. I think he used to pick dark gray. I don't like the dark gray. I, I, I'd go with the gray. What do you think of gray? And then rim color. We can we can mess with the rim. We can do polished aluminum. See? Yeah, see? Uh -huh. Interior. We can do some dirty old brown or something. Yeah, see? We could do like that yellow leather, old school. It's like the Podo Mobile. What do you think, guys? Uh, New Holland Blue, that truck got removed from the mod hub. Uh, I, I, how am I using it then, you jackwacker? Huh? No regrets. <laughs> that truck looks so much better clean. This is a good time to get rid of it, huh, Tony? Yeah, I kind of like this the way it looks. We'll go with that. Uh, we do have enough money to just buy it. Ooh, we're going to be broke. Let's buy it. Because we're going to have it for a while. I'd rather buy it than lease it. Right. There's our brand new service truck. And it can be filled up with fuel. That's pretty cool. Let's see what kind of options we have here. And it can uh, still do stuff with the straps if we want to put like a few bales on there. It's got a hitch, goose, well, not gooseneck, but you know what I mean. Hitch on the rear, hitch on the bed, fuel, beacons. Ooh, these are, these are loud, huh? All right. I hear no horn. The horn is malfunctioning. that turbo Woo. Ooh, she breaks kind of funny Ooh, that's a little that's a little uh, obnoxious on the beacons huh let's get those off that might make some people flip out oh you don't want to hook up oh tell me you're gonna hook up All right, that's not hooking up. You kidding me? Is it because we're lifted? You gotta be kidding me, Mike. It won't hook up to that? It won't hook up to that? That still sounds real nice, though. It sounds fast. I guess you can polish a turd. Yeah, I, I can't even hook up to that. That's disappointing. Maybe that's why they took it off the mod hub. But it's still on the mod hub. Because that's where I got it. Why, how, how would I still have it? I don't understand. That, that sucks. Let's try uh, lowering it. I don't think that's going to help, though. See if that helps. Really? It's a stinking hitch right there. How are you not gonna hook up to it, bruh? Oh, I should have kept the other one. Oh. We just made a we just made a horrible purchase. That's poopy. It better at least be able to feed the chickens. If it can't feed the chickens, I want my money back. It will come back. Uh, put it in the fish pond. Did you cut them out or removed and how you still have it? Uh, different hitch, says Farmer Taz. I don't think you have an option for a different hitch. I didn't see any options. But if that doesn't hook up to my little chicken feed trailer, which is not over here, I forgot. I park it somewhere different now. Come on, man. 
Will it at least hook up to this? It won't even hook up to that? Are you serious? What is going on here? <laughs> this truck sucks. Yeah, I, I, I'll get rid of this thing. Can't even hook up to anything. Well, what's the point? Why put a hitch on it if you can't use it? All right, if it doesn't hook up to my chicken trailer, I'm, I'm tossing it. Oh. So that's all it's good for? It's for uh, dumping my, my, feeding my chickens. That's all I can do with my truck. <laughs> it's a dud. Evening, everyone. What's up, RJ? Uh, trade it for the Pinto. I, yeah, I don't think that's going to work for us, chat. I need it to work. This isn't going to work. It's got to be... It's got to be giving us more than feeding the chickens. Yeah. No thanks. Well, I thought it was going to be cool, but not so much. Maybe that's maybe that's why it got taken off the mod hub. Uh, is it a John Deere? That is usually the problem. They never want to work. Oh, rabbit! A bad boy. Bad. Gonna get all the John Deere fans really mad. They're gonna come find you. Paint you green. And paint your toenails yellow. John Deere yellow. Alright. Well, that was disappointing. Alright, repaint. I gotta repaint it for $51 already. I like literally took it around the block. Alright, sell. Oh, we lost a ton of money on that. Gosh. What a waste. Ugh. Mm, 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 mm. What a turd. That doesn't leave us many options other than the one we had. <laughs> um, mm. Well, I had a TLX 2022. We could get a TLX 3500. I want to, I want to, I'd like to get a dually. There's the 6.2. This is the same truck we have on the uh, survival series. Just the two doors is good enough. I don't need a extended cab. We'll do the full extras. I don't need no snorkel. I guess we'll go 620 horsepower. <laughs> Seems a little crazy. There's the twins. There's our dually. Wide mirrors. This is uh, 82 Studios, so we're going we're gonna to have a lot of options. Uh, extras, side steps. I don't want a snorkel. I just want side steps. Those look cool. Bumper, off-road. Eh. Ooh. Chunky. Kind of like that one. Off-road main. Headlights. Ooh, blue headlights. Yes, please. Fenders. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, wide's a little much. We'll go with the uh, thin ones. Brim bead locks. We'll go with metal bead locks. Oh, yeah, this is one that has the uh, all the paint jobs. Winter wool. We'll just go standard, emblem, TLX. Ugh. 
We'll do TLX 3500, whatever. Service decals, John Deere. I don't want none of that crap on there. Standard. I kind of like the color it is, to be honest. Looks caught. Oh, no, I... Uh, there we go. There's the truck. Then we gotta buy the back end. <laughs> uh, Jacob Nuxter! Thank you for the five gifted Big Rig Frosty Gaming memberships. That's Jacob Nuxter. That goes to Xander Williams, RJ Holiday, John Keohan, Zachary Kurtz, and Hoonigan Farmer. Congratulations to all of you, and thank you very much, Mr. Nukstia. Mr. Nukstia, coming in hot. And part of me doesn't even want to get... Uh, part of me doesn't even want to get uh, a bed. I kind of want to get something that I can utilize, like this. Be good for running slurry. I'd be good for running slurry, water, but I don't need water anymore. Or yes, I do need water. I need the water tank. I could sell the water trailer. Yeah, we might end up buying this right here too. That'll be our uh, truck extension. Unreal sprayer, it can hold a crap load. Fenders, wide, twins. Just do twins. Strobes? Sure. Yeah. And a little money left over. That, that'll come in handy right there. All right, ready? Uh, good news, Frosty. What's the good news there? What's the good news there? What's the good news? Oh, we got Joe J says, howdy, Farmer Frost. What's up, Mike? Game Farmer says, get the feed mixer bed. I just bought a new feed, feed mixer last week. 30,000 liters, by the way. Oh, look at this. Check this out. Look at that light up when you uh, turn on and off the truck. Watch this. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that thing's sweet. Good purchase. So we went from uh, TLX 2020. Or no, we had a TLX 2022. And we traded it in for a TLX 3500. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice right there. <laughs> uh, too nice for a farm truck. <laughs> I will have the money to get. Oh, nice, Mr. Beetlebats. Uh, hey, cold boy. What's up, Bill? Shawnee Skogan is in the house. We got Keith Griffin says, what's up? Uh, that? Apex life. Not sure as I'm on PC. What do you say? Apex, Apex, Apex. Frosty, is there a fish farm mod? Yes. It's right over there. We actually have it. It's right there. It's big. And I've been I've been wasting too much time. It could have been fast forwarding time and I'm just messing around. Oh. Alright, we will be using this truck here in a minute. Let's uh, shut her down though. Keep her in the shade so she doesn't get too hot. I forgot to look inside. Looks just like the other one inside. Alright, let's get rocking and rolling on uh, slurry. I got a full tank ready to go. We're just going to cover the wheat field that we just harvested. Get that covered in delicious, moist slurry. What's up, Cornell777? Too nice. <laughs> Let's go fishing. How's Cornell doing? How do I make more money than Simulation Station onto this map so I can own the map first? Uh work 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 he does it on hard economy too doesn't he i think you and me like to do easy economy hard economies this is it takes too long but uh yeah i think he does the hard economy i could be wrong 
So that's an advantage already, is us not being on hard economy. <laughs> All right, look at that. You know us. See how much of the slurry we burned through here. Got the old dates far working in the wheat field. It's wasting space here. Come on, man. Line it up. Ooh. I could, f yeah, I know what I can do. I can get slurry out of the slurry trailer and just park the pickup truck over here in the field. I keep coming back for refills instead of driving over there. I can just have everything set up right here on the field. It'll be glorious. Is there a secret stash of cash somewhere? Ooh, actually, uh, yes, chat. Tell Pleasant what we did. Um, the land. The land at the main farm, you can sell it. Not your fields, like the land that the house is on. You can sell that for money. You can also sell the silos. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of little things you can do. The first thing I ever buy on any new map is the this truck plus a flatbed. TLX 3500. It's a good truck. We've uh, used it for 14 episodes on the survival series. It's been a good one. Dang. This is going a lot further than I thought it would. Still got 20% left. Bad. Not too shabby. Uh, haha, -ha, tonight I thought about a spin-off Own the Map video. Let me show you how... Let me show you how to own the map. Open power tools, give yourself $999 million. You should make a video just to be a, just to be a smart aleck. I would do it. Be like, own the farm in one episode. And it'll just, and it'll be like a one minute episode of you giving yourself money and power tools and say, thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, do it, do it, do it. Do it. If you don't do it, I'm doing it. I'll make a video just like that. I, you could almost make that a YouTube short. So we're going to steal some slurry out of my storage tank here, which is running a little low. We're going to take everything out of there because we have unrealistic uh, capacity. Turn on mobile water tank. What? I can spread with this? Oh, oh you can spread with this. Oh, crap. All right, that's going to be interesting. We got to test this truck out. We, we can spray with the truck. I didn't realize. I thought it was just to transport the liquid. It's got an actual pipe on it to spray the slurry. Hey, <laughs> my goodness, laddie. That is very nice. Yeah, we'll take all that. Extra cheese, please. Frosty, where is GPS? I showed you how to use. Remember, alt everything. I, I, I think I forgot to activate it on this map. You'll, you'll learn very soon, Pleasant, that my memory is... It's bad. I, I can't remember anything anymore. But I think about it afterwards. I'm like, yeah, that would have been cool. I haven't made any videos on YouTube yet. I might have to do one about how to use... To... How to use large equipment on small farms. There you go. People make videos on everything for farms and go for it, man. But I might <laughs> I might really make like a little YouTube short just just to be a smart aleck. Be like own the map one episode. Power tools. 
$999 million. Enter. Mission accomplished. Thank you very much. And that'd be it. This thing's still filling up. It holds a lot. I think that's enough. Yeah, I'll be enough. All right, let's see how she does spreading. I wonder how wide of a spread it is. Probably not too wide, but who knows? 82 studio. He may. He might have made it 82 meters spread. I don't know. You never know with him. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, not very big. Yeah, not not a very big spread. But just the fact that you can do it is pretty cool. So yeah, we'd be better off uh, transferring it to the trailer. Start overloading. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're gonna fill up the tractor, but it does work. It would be good for like a small farm. It's okay when we all get up there in age, our memory won't be good either. That's right. Hey, hey. <sighs> we're, oh, there we go. Got a full tank already. Park this over here, and if we need a refill, there's still some left in the uh, pickup truck. And back at it. Hey, I was excited to use that service truck, too. That's a bummer. Maybe he's going to get it updated to be able to pull trailers. That's kind of important when you have a truck, a farm truck. You want it to be able to pull some trailers. I'm talking. I'm not talking about 82s. I'm talking about that. Uh, if you weren't here, we purchased a little service truck from the Mod Hub. I can't remember the name of that guy. Mac Farmer or Mac, Mac Truck something. But we couldn't hook up to a bale trailer. We couldn't pick up to an auto trailer. The only thing it let me hook up to was a TLX little dumper trailer. That was it. That just wasn't going to cut it for me. You going you going you going to go lay down on the shore and get a suntan. All right, Suzette, be careful. Put some lotion on. Maybe you should talk to your doctor about your memory. Maybe he will have some old man medicine for you. Maybe, Duane. Maybe I should. <laughs> yeah, you'll never get it, Tony, unless giants... Uh you know, partners with Chevy or Dodge, which is surprising that they haven't. That's crazy. As long as Farm Sim has been around, you think they'd have some type of contract with, you know, Ford, Dodge, Chevy, something. Surprising, huh? Kenworth. Man, I wish they could get Kenworth on board. Woo, by then. That'd be fun. How does construction sim have Kenworth and farm sim doesn't? That's that's a head scratcher right there. How the heck did that happen? All right, Bill, get your butt to bed. <clears throat> Didn't read the description on the signs. My first time put a few around the farm as decoration. 
couldn't figure out how I earned millions. Oh, the, uh, the government subsidy sign. Yeah. That's one way to make a ton of money real fast. I guess we can't fill from the tractor. We gotta overload from the truck. Ah, uh, the truck wasn't on. That's why. Now oh, it should work. No, it doesn't work. Right. They gotta be in the truck. We'll call that the the, po the Podo Pooper truck. Podo Gray. He loves that color. Gun metal. Heard a rumor they were talking about the big three. Oh, yeah. And you hook up with the truck and just... You just go. Can you hook up to the truck? I just, oh, you mean like... Uh, pull that trailer with it? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know if I want to, though. Look a little bit silly, wouldn't you think? But yeah, maybe there is a way to connect uh, the system, the slurry system that you lower. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Praise control. Final swipe. Jeez, can barely see what you're doing in driver's seat. <clears throat> Frosty drone. Ah, there now you can see what we're doing. Final final little swipe of slurry, and then we should be good to fast forward time. Only thing we need to worry about is the cows. We might have to feed them in between uh, the months we skip. I don't think anything's in demand to sell. We don't really have much of anything to sell at this point. Uh, I do want to check the prices on the wheat. I forgot to do that. So before we fast forward, we'll just see how much wheat is worth. But I doubt it's in demand because we're in the wheat season for harvesting. So I think you can use that trailer or the wider bars at the store can attach to the back of that truck. Twice. Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Might, uh... So the attachment bars, you're saying? Or the actual sp sprayer or slurry mechanism? All right, that's good. Beautiful. A little bit of leftovers as well. that's the case we might be able to sell our slurry trailer make an investment and just get the connection for the pickup truck to start being our full-time slurry sprayer but I can't do it unless there's a way to put an extension on it because that's not big enough it's not big enough So let's check out the store. Combinations. It just has unreal configuration. See anything to spray. Maybe it's uh oh, yeah. let's see what's under slurries. I don't see anything because you did not try to hook up to a trailer since you got this other look a skid mark 
Maybe miscellaneous? I don't see any, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think we can do that, can we? Because you did not try to hook up to a trailer since he got this other. Here's all I want to know. Let me try something. I oh, will see this one's connected to the trailer. Dang it! Uh, yeah, it's going to look dumb. I don't want the truck pulling it. That's going to look stupid. But yeah, it probably does work. Eh. Guess it doesn't look too bad, huh? Little overkill. Kind of looks silly, huh? Hook the slurry trailer. I know, Joshua. It just kind of looks dumb. Doesn't that look dumb? I think it looks dumb. I don't know about you guys, but that looks pretty dumb. That doesn't look like something I'd see out on a field. <laughs> but if it's going to make us a little money by... See, we're not making any money, though, by doing it this way. All we're doing is using the truck instead of the uh, tractor. So that didn't really save any money at all. But yeah, it does work. It does work. You got that right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's put in storage. I think we can fast forward time. Actually, I gotta, I gotta at least get the slurry out of the, the cow farm or the dairy stalls because it's like almost to the brim. So let's go get that out of there so we don't run into an overflow situation. But you can haul more. True, you're right. It might be something we do. Or I can just have the truck parked on the field like I did there do with the tractor but what I was hoping is maybe you could attach like a sprayer deck on the back of this pickup truck like it's not a ridiculous one but something bigger but I don't think that's an option Goes fast. Get out of way. We can use this for milk. I could sell our milk tray. We own a milk tray. We could sell it. This could be an all purpose uh, liquid tray. Yeah. Didn't think of that. All right, fill her up. It's gonna take a while. So uh, while that's filling, let's do that. We'll let that fill for a minute. Let's head over here real quick. I don't need this water trailer anymore, so we're just going to repaint it. That's $7,100 back in our pocket. And then my milk trailer. I think that's, yeah, that's sitting over here. So technically, we don't need that. 
chocolate milk, there is a sprayer option for that truck, but the working width is like eight. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's all right. We'll, we'll keep the uh, slurry spreader, but we can get rid of this. There's no need for it. Repaint. And $18,690 back in our pocket with that. That puts us back up to forty-four grand, Almost like we didn't even lose any money. It's very nice. Cool. Right. And we're topped off with 60,000 liters of slurry. That is all coming back to the uh, farm. Actually, we don't need to do it. We can fast forward time now. Sorry, I'm all over the place, chat. <laughs> now we can uh, fast forward time because we got that cleaned out. So off we go. And there's nothing we can plant in that wheat field right now, so there's no reason to do any field work on it. No rush. We're actually going to skip past July 2nd and head right over to uh, August. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Wow, yeah. All right, it's the first month of August or the beginning, the first half of August, I mean. And uh, it's about 9.39 a.m., beautiful blue skies. And our TMR, or not TMR, all those silage bales we unloaded are good. Those are ready to use when we want. Uh, let's check our corn. Let's run back over here. There's our cornfield, getting super close. It's in uh, growth stage five of six, forage stage. So about a month to go on that, looking good. Our grass field's coming in. And that's the field that we just covered with slurry. Technically, we could cover that one more time with with slurry again. I mean, what do we got to lose? You know, we might as well, right? Nah, we don't have to. We can do that another day. That's it. Our neighbor guys got potatoes ready to remove the foliage. Ugh. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we'll just have to check on our animals. Something woman like about a pickup, man. Uh, what's up, Justin the Beta? Hello, Frosty and Chat. How are you all tonight? Elizabeth Sturty, I'm doing well. I have that same truck on my farm. It will only spray liquid fertilizer. It sprays slurry. I just did slurry. Uh, hey, what's up, Chris Wasalaski? Say, hey, what's going on, Frosty? How y'all doing? I'm doing good, Mike. Doing all right. Josh Lefevere's in here. Isn't that weird? Like, every night around 10 o'clock, we get, like, a burst of people that hop in to say hello. It's either they they got off from work or or their wife went to bed. One or the other. What kind of truck did I drive in high school? Uh, 92 S10. Uh, these guys look good. I think we're safe to fast forward. Let me head back over here. Yeah, we just uh, dumped slurry, whoever said that. Who said that? Uh, Jay Smith. Yeah, this this will s spread slurry, just so you know. It doesn't have the widest work width, but it does spray it for fertilizer. Um, we're skipping to the, the second half of August because there's nothing else to do. All right, let's just double check they didn't die. All right, we should feed the cows. We should give them a little bit of food, and then they'll be good to go. 
some straw bedding thrown in there too real quick. I think we're gonna get the corn done tonight. We've we haven't even been live for two hours, and the corn is getting close to harvest. So I think tonight's the night where the uh, fish farm will be activated. That was the goal. That's what I was hoping for. Drop that in there. That was the goal. To give my fish some corn. Because they like corn. They really do. Oh. So happy. Happy cows. He's like, what you doing, man? Blowing all that straw on my face, daddy. Stop it. You on the farm by yourself? Yes, Chris. This is my uh, Ohio Richland series. Uh, we did multiplayer last night with tier three members, and then Friday we'll be on the farm with hopefully Steerman, Stevie, and Pleasant View. So we'll have another party Friday on the uh, Upper Mississippi River Valley map. Yeah, Kevin Flores, I think it was a 1992 Chevy S10 extended cab. It even had the grandpa cap on the back, like the one that had the high rise with the little windows. I, I, whoo, it was the Geezer Express, but man, was it nice. It was really nice. All right, watch this. Tell me I have that one mod activated. Dang it! It's all right. I did have it activated, yes, on my uh, Ashton Corners uh, profile, and it does work, where I can see the percentages above the trailer. Oh, beautiful. It was a very nice. All right, so this bad boy holds 30,000 liters. Just gonna start dropping them in there. Just need to not forget how much I put in. Excuse me, truck. having like a hernia it's convulsing over there wiggling off my my spikes all right two silage one hay there are one straw in there you hit your turd wagon I sure did it's a shame I doesn't play with y'all anymore. It's, it's fine. Not a big deal at all. Uh, you on the farm? I am on the farm by myself. Yes, sir. What's up, Adam Small? What's going on, buddy? All right, let's see what the percentages are here. Nowhere near full. They'll throw another hay in there. Throw another hay in the wagon. Love, love the uh, the bale texture mod. Man, I just can't believe I've gone this long without using it. It's so nice. Love it. So much better than the base game texture. See how see how quick we're eating through these? That's why I had to make a crap load more. And we only got 79? How many cows we got? It's not that many. 80. We have 80 head of cattle. They're all dairy cows. 80. But they eat like crazy animals. Crazy. Wait, 
for that to fill up a little bit. Throw some more straw in there. <laughs> Keep smacking the pickup truck. I'm I'm welcoming it to my farm. I use as much straw as it'll let me, as long as we uh, stay in the numbers here. It's looking pretty darn full. You know what? Shove that thing in there. That'll fit. Barely anything left of it. All right. A little more uh, silage. I'd rather use silage because those are my last four hay bales. <laughs> and that's not good. Load up already. This wagon takes forever to fill up. Alright, there we go. Whoop. Full load ready. That'll be 30,000 liters of TMO. Right, what's up, Tyler Lowry? You say you have 80 head of cattle, but what about the rest of the bote? Eh, we don't count the rest of it. Everyone smack that like button, says Tony Martig. Yeah, do what Tony said. Smack it hard. Hello, I'm new to this game. Are mods hard to install? No. The beauty, the, the best part, Monica, is tons of, I'm talking like probably over a thousand mods are right on the mod hub in the game. So you literally fire up the game and at the main menu, you're going to see downloadable content. Just click on that. And then you can browse through tons of different mods and decide which ones you want to try out. When you find one, you literally install it. You just click, say, yes, I want it, install it. And then when you start your farm, whether it's a fresh brand new one or you're just starting up your profile from an old save, whatever, before the game launches, it asks, do you want to activate your mods? And whatever you found that you liked, you just check it and hit start, and then they'll load up into that game. And then, you, of course, you have to buy them. You have to go to the store and purchase whatever it is you want to use. But super easy. Trust me, if, if I can do it, you can do it. If Fire Slane can do it, <laughs> everybody can do it. All right, let's get this dropped in here. I got 30,000 liters of silage, TMR, total mixed rations. Oh, look at that filling up. Oh, delicious. Yummy. Oh, crap. You say you have Hottie Frosty, uh, you on the farm. I just think it's massive. Come on, Betsy. Let's go get some fresh TMR. Now eat it. Stop looking at it. Now eat it. You know you want it. Eat it. It's unloading like extra slow. A little bit in there. Oh, better. Ooh. That's what you call feeding the cows right there. That ought to put a big old smile on their face. This thing like has a platform to get up on and everything. It's huge. You could like get lost. You could have a party in that mixer. Big old party. Thank you, Monica. Be careful adding mods is addicting. I spent an hour on the mod hub. 
or silly Scotty or one silly maniac. Alright, cool. So let's just double check our uh, cows. Should be plenty. Oh yeah, look at that. They're almost topped off. They got plenty of straw. Their slurry is still accumulating. Uh, milk is building up as well. That's a good thing. And chickens. Eh, chickens. Productions. Maple syrup. A little bit. But what we're trying to get to is we want to get our fish farm up and running. We've got mineral feed. All we need is some corn. It's corn. Uh, we're going to get some corn harvested as soon as possible. Let's see our time saving stock check. Do we have anything that's in demand? Uh, milk is currently at 2127. That's actually a pretty good price, but it's not worth selling. We don't have much on us. Um, canola and wheat, the price is nowhere near where it could be, so we're going to leave it in the silo. We got about 35 plus thousand liters of canola and wheat. We're just storing them until the price is right. Honey, too low. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll head back to the farm and fast forward time again. Get the slurry taken over there. Yeah, the cows are all taken care of now. I only had to feed them twice tonight. You remember how much we were feeding them in the earlier episodes where we had the little red uh, TMR wagon, mixing wagon? It took way too long. So now we just make one big mix like every couple months and they're good to go. Much better. Right, Miss Frosty? Much better. Uh, Chris Wasake! Waslaske. Waslaske. Says Frosty, I like the variety of the different series you got going on. Really enjoy the live streams. You try to keep up with the comments, which is awesome. Keep up the great content. Well, thank you, Chris. Thank you for the uh, kind words and the $10 super chat. And you know what? I've been, I was just telling uh, Stevie and Stearman the other day. It's just, it's been awesome seeing all these new people that each stream, we keep getting like one or two new faces that start coming to each show. And that's, that's so much, it's so nice as a streamer to see growth, like real growth of just new faces. So uh, thank you very much, Chris. And that goes for a lot of newer people in the chat. If you're, okay, here's, here's a question. If you've only been watching me for, let's say two months, uh, say hello in the chat. Just type hello, that's all you gotta do. Just say hello, or just say been here, yeah, about two months, whatever. I just wanna, I know there's been a lot of new people. So it'd be cool to, see the name so everybody can say hello and welcome to the community because I know there's new people watching so I'm going to get this thrown into here because we might need our tanker at another time but it's going to take like five days to unload it takes forever so we will fast forward time while that's going on see if anything happens to our cornfield See if it gets ready to grow. Skip to the next uh, month, October. Bam, bam. Let's give it a second. I don't know if it's going to be ready yet. I think we still got to go another month. Cody says hello. And of course, everybody that's been here for like two years plus said hello. <laughs> Jack Whackers. Uh, Tyler, Kevin, Jim, Vambuski, Tony, Logan, Jay Smith. Been here since the first of Facebook. See? <laughs> uh, Outlaw, Outlaw Railroad, I know, hasn't been here that long. Um, Chris is definitely a new one. JV Simulation's been here about four months. Noise, noise. I know we've had some late come ups. Did you forget? Oh, tickle it. Yeah, that's right. Um, hello, my name is Vambuski. Yeah, we know Vambuski, that's for sure. 
Uh, Stevenson with the five pound super chat says it is very awesome to see these new faces in chat and nice to see the channel growing. Welcome new people, says Stevenson. Good old Stevenson. Uh, who, who doesn't love Stevie? Uh, Joey Rowe says hey yo. Philip Deem, Nikki Vanson. Uh, House Frost, I'm doing good, Andrew. There you go. But there's definitely many more. We just got a lot of shy people that don't like to chat. And they don't like voting either. A lot of you don't like to vote when I put up polls. And that's fine. We had like 250 people in here the one night and only 50 people voted on something. I was like, all right, all right. So you don't like voting, I get it. It's all good, baby. All right, we are gonna stop time for a minute because I've gotten a message that there's a great demand for maple syrup. So let's see if we even have any maple syrup. Uh, we do. The price, see, that's the thing with that mod. If anybody uses time saving stock check, don't let it fool you. All that means is it's in demand. It's just the price is rising. The max price is 44.35. That green arrow is going up, so I'm not selling it yet. I'm gonna wait till that arrow is going down again. That means it's hit the max and it's just now coming down. So we're not selling that yet. Uh, milk 23. Okay, milk is ready. See that? It's it, it. When you look at it, you might be like, no, don't sell it. It's in the red. But look, 2307, it hit its peak. And now it's coming down and it's paying more than the max price. It's like a gambling thing. You just got to keep an eye on your, uh, your stocks pretty much. So let's take advantage of the milk. Let's sell the milk. Other than that, nothing else really looks worth selling. So let's go sell the milk. And it's a good thing we uh, emptied out our truck here. Oh, it's stinking full. That's okay. Put it in here. We'll put the rest into that trailer. We got lucky. That's empty, I think. We'll run back to the uh, cow stall, load up the milk, and that's going to give us about 50 grand. I'll take it, buddy. Give me that 50 grand. And then after that, fast forward to October, and that corn will be ready. We'll be doing some harvesting. And all that corn will be going right to our fish farm facility right there. Gonna be nice. Ugh, potatoes everywhere. That's the field I want to buy, too. It's got a potato harvesting contract, I bet. Ugh. We'll leave it alone. We'll wait till they're withered and we get to, like, plow over it. That'll be more fun. <laughs> That's going to be some... Oh, crap! Did I, did I miss all the planting seasons? Nope. Ooh, we almost did. Wheat and barley is good in October, so no rush. We can wait on that. Okay. Whew, I thought we missed the window to plant on our one field. So I'll just have to remind myself. When we harvest the corn, we can also plant barley in the other field. Everything gonna be okay. It's gonna, hey. Fire Slane's already in there right now, washing it out. He said it'll be clean by the time I get to the dairy farm. He's literally in there scrubbing it down. He's got those nice, fancy firefighter pressure washers, so we'll get it nice and clean. Frosty, can you edit the location of buildings after you place them? You mean if you place a building? Yeah. What do you mean? Can you edit a bit? Like, can you get rid of it? Yeah, you sh sh Well, not with productions. That would have... You'd have to go into the XMLs to change that. So, yeah, if that's what you mean, like, if you place a production, you can't... You can't delete it, sell it. 
it's there. Now, if you put down like a farmhouse or a shed or a garage, you can sell it if that's what you're asking. I think that's what you're asking. Now, load that milk up, baby. Load that milk up right now. And while that's loading up, we'll see how the animals are doing. Oh, gosh, they are such pigs. I literally just fed the jack whacking. Oh, my. <clears throat> They're, like, needy. Very needy animals. And dairy cows. Rhymony. A weird uh bale stab. Right, we're gonna need two of these. They're taking the last of my hay bales. Man. Just can't make them last. And just a reminder, time lapse tomorrow at lunchtime, 12 o'clock noon, right on the money premiere, Ashton Corners, episode 7. So make sure you check it out. That'll be around lunchtime. Let's go get some more soilage. I only been here two months. Yeah, right, princess. What do you set your number of days to per month to? For this series, two days, but usually one day, depending on the map, depending on how much time I think I need. But this one, I set it to two days. snag two of these. This tractor's a beast. No rear weights. Look at that. No rear weights and it lifts two bales like it's nothing. 7,000 liters on the front end. to become a master mixer. Oh, almost dumped it all in there. Now watch me dip. Now watch me nay nay. Now watch me dip, dip my straw in nay nay and my hay. Should be able to get away with more silage. I, I only got two hay bales left. This is getting nasty. You have to use mineral feed. You can. I don't. But you can. Um. Ashton Corners, I use all kinds of stuff. I use crack corn, CCM, uh, mineral feed, molasses, hay, and silage. I use five ingredients on Ashton Corners. Come on, baby. that baby up. Alright, she's full. He had enough. Oh, 
Might as well load up the uh, straw blower real quick. I could see Frosty and denim suspenders and a straw hat mixing up some TMR with a pitchfork. I'd do it. You give me the tools, I'll do it. You'd be splendid. You little fart knocker. Tell you what. Get in there. Stop messing Ryan. Oh my goodness. Or just a full blown turd. Get in there. Bad boy. Trying to go through all the stuff on this side first and then start using that stuff. There we go. Uh, how long have you been playing FS Frosty? I've been playing since FS09. FS... I think I tried FS11 back in the day, but that, you know, that was back when it was a little hard to play. But FS13 thir was when I started getting that itch. And then from 15 on, I played the crap out of them all. 15, 17, 19. Played them. Long time. If you ever have your own real farm, please stream it. That would I'd love to. I really would. I'd love to stream it. Uh, Gary Snoody says, how's it going? Uh, coming in there with the $5 super chat. Thank you very much, sir. And I'm doing quite well. Just knocking things out on this uh, Ohio Richland series. Thank you for the $5 super sticker, sir. We also got Kevin Flores dropping the $10 super chat. Says, Frosty, I've been watching you for almost three years. And I've never seen you pause to use the restroom. Do you wear Depends like Deep Grey? And did you forget about Valentine's Day? What are your plans? I tell you, I told you, every day is Valentine's Day for Miss Frosty and I. Hugs and kisses every day. We don't need a stinking Valentine's Day. Every day is Happy Love Day. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we don't do that stuff. We do that stuff every day. Um, what else did he say? Do you wear Depends? No, I was a truck driver for 12 years. Uh, you learn to have an iron bladder. Yeah, you just you start to have that iron bladder, and I can just go for hours without needing to without needing to use the loo. I don't need to use the loo for quite a while. Uh, brown chicken, brown cow, brown chicken, brown cow, how? You singing? what that means it has come a long way since then it has hammer Mike yeah someone made a video I can't remember who it was but they made a video of each year of farm sim how it how it's evolved like graphically and just what you can do it was pretty interesting pretty cool but yeah I, I love it so it's just a relaxing like, I look forward to each night playing Farmson. I enjoy it quite thoroughly. All right, here's more feed for you, you pigs. You are not dairy cows. You're full-blown pigs. They just constantly eat. They'll eat all day, all night. Can you go a while without a tinkle? I sure can. Iron Bladder was my nickname in high school. I won't ask. Uh, Gary Snoody coming in again. First he came in with the $5 Super Chat. Now he's dropping the $20 Super Chat. That is Mr. Snoody. Thank you so much, sir. With the uh, not one, but the two Super Chats. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you very much. Gary. Thank you, Gary. 
Uh, Frosty, I tell my wife the same thing. Made you made up. It's a made up day. Yeah. But I'll probably get her something. She's probably still awake. Yeah, I'll probably get her something. Get her some chocolates. She loves uh, Reese peanut butter cups, stuff like that. She, but yeah, we don't do like full blown crazy stuff. We don't do that anymore. All right, that's enough food for a while. Jeez. Well, I don't have any hay, so that's all the food they're getting for a while. <laughs> Hopefully they make it. Hopefully they survive. All right, now how's our cows looking? See, back up to 53. Man, that slurry. I got to do something about that slurry. We're going to have to start, like, selling it. It's just too much of it. Jeez. All right, time savings check. We want to sell the milk. Crap. Uh, milk, milk, milk. Ohio Agri-Keep. All right, we're going to head over there. Milk's ready. 21,000 liters. It's going to give us about 50K in the bank. Go get it. Let's go get it. Made up day. Uh, that is the same with ATS. I've been playing that since 18 Wheels of Steel. I kind of got sick of ATS. I'll just be honest. I haven't touched it in quite a while. But I used to love the crap out of that game. And I'm just burned out. I'm burned out with this. Every, every, every DLC just, to me, feels the same. I know everybody's got their own opinions. But to me, personally, it just feels like a, a broken record. And I just, I don't, I don't even want to play it. Like, I have no desire to play it. Uh, what else we got going on here? We got Ivan Dockery coming in with the gifted membership as well. That's Ivan Dockery. Yeah, baby. Yes. <laughs> Who got that? Ro uh, Robert Andres. Robert Andres got it. Thank you so much, Ivan Dockery. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, you need the grass dryer. I have it. I have it. And I might... I have it installed. I'm tempted to use it. I really am. All right, let's get rid of my milk. Top right corner. We should make about 50 grand. Baby. That money's climbing. <clears throat> Does anyone really want more states at this point? Uh, I it, I don't think I'll buy the next DLC. I'm serious. I just I'm, I'm kind of done with ATS. If I ever play it again, I've got plenty of DLCs to play. All right, so we made forty-eight thousand two hundred ninety-one dollars on milk. That gives us a total of sixty-six grand. Too shabby. And then we've got like so much stinking slurry. We might we're gonna sell some. There's too much. It's just too much slurry. Actually, we might not need to sell it. We'll just sell. Uh, Yeah, we might not need to sell it. We'll just preload it. We'll fill this up and preload it. Now we are cooking. You like it when I drive fast, huh? Oh, yeah, I know you like that. Bam, ba -dam. Kind of like our new truck. Uh, Austin, I see Kansas is coming. So basically another $14 state to look like all the other states. That's that's the problem for me. They just, they all kind of 
feel the same. I just don't get that that exciting oomph. See, to me, the, the turning point on that game was the beginning. Because you had Arizona, California, Nevada. When they expanded up to Oregon and Washington, I was hooked. Because I was so sick of those other states. Uh, everything was different. And from that point on, I just it just wasn't wasn't exciting anymore after Washington. That's when I kind of fell off the uh, the bandwagon was after Washington. Like, I'd still stream it and try to pump everybody up, but in my own heart, I wasn't that pumped up. I was like, this looks just like the other one. <laughs> Colorado, Wyoming, they all just kind of felt like Washington, in my opinion. Uh, they decided to release just one state again, and it's Kansas. Oh, really? They're doing Kansas, huh? All right, so slurry's empty. It's all in the back of my trip. We'll just bring it back to the house for now. And then we'll, we'll get our corn harvested. We're going to skip to the next month. There's nothing else to sell. Be golden. Colorado. It had its good spots. It had a couple good moments about it, but yeah. Just started playing on the map called Multimap. Have you heard of it? Multimap? Multimap. Multimap. For farm sim? Sounds familiar. Is that off the mod hub or is that a third party map? Multimap. Yeah, it, I, I know I personally haven't tried it, but I, I think I have heard of it. Using the class, class US version for the first time. Surprise, I don't think I've seen you use it on a farm yet. Um, it was supposed to be used Friday on the upper Mississippi River Valley. But, uh... I think I had, what is that one weed there? Are you kidding me? Where the heck did you come from? How's that even possible? How's that possible? One little pesky weed in my beautiful field. That's depressing. Yeah, I thought I had, I thought I had Pleasant View he drove it out of the driveway on Friday, but I don't think we got to use it, use it. I think I sold it, actually. Yeah, I sold it. Because I was like, we don't really need a extra harvester at this moment. So I, yeah, forgot about that. But you're right, the challenger looking one, the uh, yellow and black gloss, that is nice. This offloaded into the trailer there. Some of it. All right, and if we do want to end up selling this, we literally can sell it right there. <laughs> but uh, we'll leave it in the truck for now. Time to get this darn corn ready. Let's do it, bud. Come on. So we're heading into October. October 1st. Got a little bit of rain. We'll wait till the rain goes away. There we go. And there's our corn. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 90, 98% yield. 98 yield. Not bad, not bad. It is ready to harvest. And so is our grass. Oh, my goodness. That means hay bales are going to be in the near future, probably next episode. Uh, but we're, we're here to do that corn, so let's get her done. Go get the harvester out of the garage, fire it up, get the corn header connected, and get this powder started. 
and uh, the uh, the beets are out of there. That means that there will be a plowing contract. Oh, nice. I will definitely take advantage of that. Oh, I didn't look at this. I didn't realize there was a little uh, beacon there. I did not. Did you guys notice that? I didn't even see that. This whole time, I didn't see that blinking. You can turn it on and off. That's a little beacon on the tank. Well, I'll be darned. I didn't even notice that. I'll be darned. All right. Time for some corn. Gonna do some corn. Can you please at least mow the grass tonight? We'll see. I, I we'll see. Corn is a uh, top priority tonight. Cause it's corn. No doubt about it. Cause it's corn. It's got the juice. Oh, I love that little video. Corn song. We're off to see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need a corn header, not that. <laughs> Almost brought the wrong header. You guys were going to let me drive it all the way back to the... All the way back to that field, I bet. Like, look at Frosty. He don't know what he's doing. We'll wait till he gets there, and then we'll tell him he messed up. Ugh. Oh, look, it's Gumby. Gumby came to help out. Honk at me, but Chuck. That's right. All right, let's go get it. Go get some corn. Wrong header. Man, we got the we got the right one now. Wrong header for corn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little little late on that comment, don't you think? I'm gonna have fun tearing up that potato field there. <clears throat> Cow. You know that about we got. Oh, got to unfold first. And off we go. Give me that cow. We'll do a big old headland cut. Do a perimeter cut and then we'll see if a hired worker can handle it. It's one big square field, so shouldn't have any issues. Beautiful October day, clear skies, a little hazy. A little foggy out in the distance, but it's so right. We're about to fill that thing up right there. That's our fish factory. I was hoping I'd get to this tonight. I was like, they're going to be mad if I, I don't even get to the corn. <laughs> it took us two and a half hours to get the corn ready to harvest. Way too satisfying. Isn't it lovely? I like a little corn harvest, huh? 
Not late with the comment, just late reading. Was I late reading? Frosty, happy to see you, pal. How's the farming going tonight for you? It's going well. We uh, finally got through a few months to where the corn was ready to harvest. We're going to get our fish farm activated tonight. That was my main goal. And two hours, 37 minutes into the show, it's finally about to happen. So once we get a full uh, grain tank here, we'll go fetch the truck and get that first load right out of the harvester into the fish factory. Oh, crap. But simulation, if you... I'm, I'm doing... Um, I'm doing Upper Mississippi Friday again because it just works out schedule-wise better for uh, Pleasant. So if you're able to make it, let me know. You're, you know you're invited, so would love to have you, sir. And if not, totally understand. You seem to be just about as busy as I am all the time, so I, I get it. No, no, uh, I understand is what I'm saying. <laughs> Same fish factory that doesn't show the fish, sadly. But it is going to spawn pallets. And I, I imagine the pallets have something that say fish on it somewhere, huh? I hope so. Yeah. That's nice. Think Miss Frosty. Isn't it nice? It's a nice corn. It's delicious. Alright, what do you think? Should we do let's at least fill it up. Let's get a full tank before I hire a worker. got the stream to 200 so what's up phil oh we got 200 reactions up in here come on baby that's not too shy but right now probably a plain brown box probably but let's think positive isaiah why no swath because it's cone it's cone no doubt about it it's got the juice Michigan Farms map has fish swimming in the creek. Oh, does it? Nice. All right, we just hit the 80% mark, so the beacons have activated. That's the fill level warning uh, mod. Pretty nice. Automatically puts the beacons on at 80%, and it beeps. They added some nice... Uh, some nice wagons to the mod hub yesterday those blue ones i forget the brand but they're the kind that'll that are very nice for uh fermenting silos to pull up next to the blower yeah i forget what the darn brand was on them. they just got added they look sharp they're like white and blue very good looking I think we're at, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pipe out here and then we'll hire a worker to start going back and forth. Let's go get the truck. We're at 99%. We'll be right back after these messages. See how fast I can run. Whee! I got bit by a zombie. Woo, 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 woo. It's cone time. I will definitely try. I know the wife and I are going out with some friends from our church for dinner, but hopefully we will be back home in time. Hey, like I said, if you can't, totally get it. But just know you're uh, you're definitely invited on that series. I uh, would love to have you as a special guest. And watched your new video today on the, uh, the, the new setup you got on Mississippi. Looks very nice. Very, very nice, sir. Uh. 
I'm hoping this uh, fish factor. I just want to bring more money in. We need more money for this series. We're on episode nine. I want I want to buy that potato field over there. Well, it's not a potato field anymore. It needs plowed. I want to buy field one and seven. Those surround my farm area, and then that'll give us like f one, two, three, four. That'll give us five fields total, not counting our our big grass field. I want it so bad. So I'm hoping the fish factory is going to bring in some good money for us. What's up, Daniel Ricard? Evening, Brian. I heard tried to avoid the Reddit for sure, says Zachary. Uh, don't go on Reddit. Trolls everywhere posting. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I've never messed with Reddit. I had a short lifespan on TikTok. That did not last long at all. I just, it, it wasn't for me. Let's get this guy out of the way and get a person hired on the harvester. Probably should have done, done one more lap around the field, but as long as they got enough room to turn around on the other side, which they should because we did two swipes. It's not much, but it's going to get that uh, fish farm up and activated. We're going to go dump it in there and activate the switch and finally get some, uh, get some extra cash flow in there. I wonder how long it takes for the pallets to spawn. I'll show you all the formulas here in a minute once we get it unloaded. So here's our nice little entryway up to the fish farm. Our first load of corn ever being delivered here. It's exciting. <laughs> oh, like a little boy at a candy store. I brought corn for you, fishies. Yeah. Forgot all about this having a bottom hopper. <laughs> Crap! Son of a turd licker. Um. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Didn't even think of that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> all right. We're gonna use some of that 60 grand to purchase a trailer for the tractors to haul. <laughs> Cause that trailer is not gonna work. This is a bottom hopper. Why didn't Why didn't I think of that? That's okay. We can find a, an affordable trailer. Maybe something's on sale. We haven't seen what's on sale. And that little chicken trailer I have, that's that's too small. I don't I don't want to use that. We'll get something that can hold more. Even an auger wagon would work good. Oops, wrong side. Use one of the augers to unload over to it. I don't have one, but I'm going to buy one. Yeah, I don't own one on this map. But yeah, I think an auger would be just better anyways than just a regular trailer. Frosty, that a bottom hopper just letting you know. Thanks. Silly. Silly man. Alright. Auger whack. Oh, first, let's see if it's on sale. Nothing. Ooh, there's a chocolate pallet on sale. The auger wagon 76 grand get 
the heck out of here, daddy. Oh, man. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we'll just get a trailer. See what modded ones we have. Oh, there it is. I activated it. These ones. The Donnelly trailer pack. Look at these. These just got added like yesterday or the day before. These things are cool looking. Uh, we might get one of these. Yes, sir, Bobby. And look how affordable they are. Might as well get the big one. Yeah. Let's make sure it can hold. Yeah, it can't hold corn. So never mind. But isn't that cool? Those are nice. Those are going to be good for uh, grassland work and all that. All right, so scratch that <laughs> idea. Actually, our little chicken trailer can be edited to have an unrealistic amount. I didn't know that. So we will use that. Yes, we'll use that. Um... Let's use the international. We'll feed the chickens, dump the rest of the wheat into the silo, and then get it back over to the field to get the corn out of it. Not even going to need unrealistic, uh, whatchamacallit. Just this alone holds like 6,500, which is good enough. Workers' grain tank is nearly full. Yeah, we'll use this little, little turd trailer. I don't think he's paying attention. He means an auger belt. Oh, yeah. I ain't doing all that. Yeah, I'm not big on the auger belts. Uh, hi, Frosty. How you doing? What's up, Daniel? I'm doing good. Doing good, man. That fish makes good money. You have it, Bradley? Cool. So it looks like it'll be a good investment. I've had a blast so far on Hogwarts Legacy. I know it's a single player, but I enjoy it so far as Zachary. Nice. I don't even know what you're talking about. Hogwarts Legacy. Buy a dump truck. Nah, we only got 60 grand. I don't want to waste it. Because we're, we're doing a... You know, it's legit. We're not doing any money cheating. And this trailer will actually... See what it looks like if we uh, change it to unrealistic. Yeah, let's put it... Uh, there we go. We just upgraded it to 8,000 liters. Uh, we can do painted panels, wood pan. We'll do wood panels. Type of wheels we got. We'll do those, I guess. <clears throat> Gun metal. Yeah. Two thousand bucks to upgrade it to eight thousand. There we go. That'll be perfect. <laughs> Frosty, hello, glad I could catch your live stream. Hello, Kyle Guthrie. Hello, Frosty, how's the farming Artemis? We're harvesting corn finally. I'm getting corn put into the uh, the fish factory. The fish farm factory, I think is what it's called. Fish farm. Man, that's a nasty hump there. I need to fix that sometime. And I should have grabbed the corn out of the silo. I completely forgot. I told you, my memory is horrible. Could have got it out. I forgot all about it. <clears throat> I don't think he's paying attention. Whitney, oh. Get one of those big Augie, ag eye augers, the Aussie one. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think we need that. But yeah, this will work. This will get the job done. You'll see. It'll be fine. It'll be just fine. 
and he wants me to drive into my crop. I don't think so. Not happening. Because we do have destruction on. That'll hold about 8,000 liters. That'll work. Hello, Jasmine. Says he's not cheating, but mods a trailer to unreal. I didn't. I didn't do unrealistic, Austin. It's 8,000 liters. 82,000 liters would have been unrealistic. I didn't do that. So there. How you like that, Austin? Huh? Now you probably feel like, oh, well, maybe I should have thought before I spoke. Huh? Yeah. Hired workers back on track. Now how do you feel about yourself? Huh, Austin. That'll teach him, huh, chat? That'll teach him. And this guy's running low on fuel, too. It's okay. You don't need to apologize. Could you just go put the auger over the... Could just go put the auger over the drop point. I don't have an auger. I don't have an auger. But if you're talking about like an auger uh, belt, yeah, you could do that. I just don't want to. I'd rather do it this way. But yeah, you're right. I could put a bottom hopper, have an auger, and do all that stuff. But that's too much... That's too much for me to think about, you know? This is simple. This is the simple version. See? Simple. Simplicity. And that's it. It's activated. It's good to go. I was hoping to catch you before you bought something more expensive. Yes. I forgot that this little trailer could be upgraded. Because I only had it set to 4,000 liters to feed the chickens every once in a while. But 8,000 liters, that's that's good for what we need. All right, let's get this party activated, baby. Come out. All right, so fish farming. We've got... Oh, are you serious? This thing doesn't hold much corn, does it? Wow, it's almost full. All right, well, let's activate. And it looks like for every 200 corn, you need 50 mineral feed, and that will make 500 fish. So 8,000, yeah, I ain't doing all that math. But we'll come back to it in a little bit and see how fast things uh, activate. Yeah. Yeah, it must only take like 25,000. What kind of fish? Corn fish. <laughs> ah, yeah. Corn fish. Good thing you don't get a big trailer, see? It wouldn't have been it wouldn't have mattered, huh? Would have been a waste of money. Now while he's doing his thing, we'll go get the corn out of the silo cuz I completely forgot to pick it up. You'll get 1,200 liters a month. I used to have a pet fish until my brother's fish killed my fish. Well, your brother's fish is a butthead. What a, what a butthead. I hope, you were, I hope you told your brother that too, that his fish is a butthead for doing that. But keep your fish out of my fish's mouth. But you should have told him. Mm -hmm. A little bit of corn. 
Kind of goes good with the uh, International, actually, this little trailer. Not bad. Wheat, barley, canola, corn. Now we don't have cats. We are a dog family. Two cats, four dogs here. A partridge in a pear tree. Two kids, a wife. It's like a, it's like a zoo. It's a busy, busy area when you walk into my house. I meant could unload the harvester at the fish farm, yes. But then I'd have to drive the harvester to the fish farm over and over again. But you're right, you could. I'd rather let the harvester keep working while I just cart grain back and forth. That's how the farmers do it, Andrew. Did you know a, a sitting combine is a bad thing? You want that thing to keep on moving all the time. That's why they created trailers and and chaser bins. So you so you keep that the wheels turning and the corn harvested and the money spinning. You know what I'm saying, Daddy? He's almost full too. Oh, don't fill up right there, you little turd head. All you had to do was go like five feet. Gosh, you stink. We'll upgrade the harvester someday. We just haven't needed to. We haven't really needed to do it. And I'm trying to dump into something that doesn't need dumped because it's full. All right, so first we got to unload this. <laughs> oh man, they busted a very, very large fighting ring there in my town a couple weeks ago. Over 30 people was charged and put in jail for up to a week. Well, weren't they just fighting with the wrong chickens, I? Yeah, it's not good. Not what chickens are meant for. <clears throat> Stressed out chickens right there. Shouldn't be making them fight. Take care of your chickens. They'll make some fresh eggs for you, laddie. Once we get this filled up, then we'll just go back to uh, filling up the big truck and putting it in the silo. Because this thing's almost full already. There is a sitting harvester, see? <laughs> Poor planning. That was on my bad. Poor planning by me. If I would have unloaded that, it still would have been full by the time I got back. So either way, I messed up. Time management. Roosters are bred to fight. Other than that, they are useless. How do you think? I'm not even going to say it, Bambuski. Not even going to say it. I wonder if Bambuski knows where chickens come from. All right, let's, uh, let's get this hired worker going here. I've been by many times and noticed the hundreds of roosters in cages, but I didn't think anything because I grew around it. The neighbors evidently didn't like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Kind of sad. I bet you uh, this won't even... 
or this load is going to fill up the facility and then we'll have to dump the rest in the silo. town that was big news they have two jobs one is to fight the other i'm not gonna mention are you gonna do any wheat planting tonight says tyler any wheat planting i don't know we're at the three hour mark actually so i'm not sure uh how much longer i got i got oil change tomorrow gotta do an oil change unfortunately and then i got carpool i've been busy man that carpool takes up so much of the day driving. The, and and you, I had to do last week and this week, so I think I finally get a break next week. So I don't have to uh, drive all them kids around. There's three, fam well, three families, including my kids, that we drop off. And it's like, a, it's, it's time consuming. It's a pain in the booty. get this topped off and yeah there we go hopefully we'll be back in time before it's full such a little trailer huh <laughs> little baby trailer filled it up already. Oop. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, come on. All right. Don't cut off your hired worker. Not a good idea. He didn't like that. He did not like me cutting him off there. Oh, look at that, though. Nice recovery. Chase. Cut him off again. Gosh, this guy. I didn't think that was gonna. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. No, 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 no. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Get out of here. That's enough of that. Whew. That's enough of that crap. Look at that. He tore up my field. Look at that. Crop destruction. He just ripped up. Oh, my. And made me go in here and ripping up crops. You know what? Look at that. What a butt nut. Uh -uh -uh. Blame the JD. It was the, it was the JD. It just ran me over. That was your fault. That was not my fault. What's up, Scooter's Workbench? Does let's go for three. I wonder what will happen. That was some, uh, yeah, that harvester driver must be blind. I cut him off twice and ran me over twice. Not how it should be. Uh, pay cut time, says Tyler. <laughs> he is mad you sold old blue. Maybe. Oh yeah, if anybody that's been keeping up on this series, if you'd maybe tuned in the last hour or so, we sold the uh, pickup truck that we had for so long that we never washed. I washed it and sold it, and we replaced it with a TLX 3500. So we no longer have the TLX 2022, we have the TLX 3500, well equipped with a tank that holds like 50 like 60,000 liters of liquid you can do liquid fertilizer slurry milk water it's gonna come in handy for all kinds of stuff so good investment I think all right we'll use the big truck now facility is packed full of corn, the uh, fish farm. 
So now it's just uh, storing the rest. Well, that's good to know, though. Because I was wondering, like, am I going to need a crap load of corn to stock this place up? But no. Not even half the field was enough to stock it up completely. So this will be our dedicated corn field. And we made it back in time for the harvester to keep rolling. That's always a plus. Deduct his pay, turn salary down to zero. <clears throat> Let's see. Isaiah, did I? Did, how long you been here, Isaiah? That's the first comment I've seen you say. I hope you haven't been here too long. Don't lie. You haven't been here that long, right? How you doing, buddy? start cruising through that corn yeah yeah let's check out animals i did fast forward time and eh, they're good chickens we just topped off uh now that we got weed in there that's prices eh. Ooh, canola is actually not too bad i got 72 grand worth of canola sitting in the sitting in the pot uh, but we'll, we'll we won't touch it for a little bit uh, milk, we already know that's good. We just don't have much of it. Corn is gonna be a while. So yeah, it's fine in the silo. Think that'll be enough to uh, keep him going for a while? He's empty. What field number is this frosty? We own. All right, so we own this field. We own the grass field. We own that dark field on the other side. That's one that uh, we just harvested. And then we own our field that we've been putting canola in. But there's nothing in that one at the moment. So I'm trying to save up enough. To purchase you know what maybe we'll activate that contract actually this one here so we can plow Let's see here let the game save clear contracts new contracts The field one's the one I, I kind of want. A cultivating contract. That's easy. So we will use our own equipment because we have a cultivator and a tractor. So this is field one right here. We'll go get our John Deere hooked up to the cultivator and get to work, I. Isaiah's been here for the whole stream, you jack whacker. Now he hasn't. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And I haven't seen him say anything, so I don't believe it. Uh, what was your fault? Let's go for three. He made an old blue. Uh, what field did you speed up the worker? Because that guy's flying. He's only going nine miles an hour. It's not that bad, is it? 
Yeah, he's going a little faster than the average bear. The heck, man? How's that not connecting? Oh, I had HUD hider on. I was like, what's going on here? <clears throat> All right, so we're going to knock out this uh, field over here. I'll definitely get course played ready to rock and roll here. I need to figure out this darn course play. Ugh. Like, I, I gotta figure out how to make the turns actually cover everything. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna figure this out together. Gonna be great. All right, so course, 6.8 meter work width. We'll do three headlands, whatever. Um, I've been doing sharp corners. Overlap the headland tracks as a percent of working width. I have that at 7%. I think that's what it's stuck at. I'm watching basketball and have you on the iPad, sir. Okay, okay, see, see. I knew I didn't see you talking much. I knew what I was talking about. How do you get your mineral feed for the fish? I buy the pallets from the store, pick them up, and just dump it into the bin. Increase your headland overlap. Increase it. I had it on 7%. What do you think's a good percentage? Like 20? I've got, I've always had my corners on sharp. You, you, you taught me that, Artemis. But like, what's a good headland overlap percentage? What do you think is reasonable? 7%, I guess, was not good because that's probably explains why I missed so many pieces. <laughs> just waiting for a reply chat I'll definitely still be in the chat you just continue to ignore my messages it's fine I'm used to it for now alright perfect I was just making sure <laughs> alright if they don't say nothing I'm gonna do a 7% 14 double yeah I'll do 20% I don't know Generate field course. All right, let's see what happens. Start at first waypoint. See how she does on the turns. Oh, 12%. Oops. <laughs> I went a little beyond that. But let's see what happens anyway. So this is course play activated with a 20% headland overlap. And all that, I'm not really going to notice anything until they come to do their next lap. When they do their second lap. Because I think all that means is... Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Got yours at 10%. Eh, we'll see what 20 does. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. If anything, it'll just do a good job and just maybe be a little overkill. I don't care about it missing there. Yeah, we'll come back to that in a little bit and see how it's looking on the edges. We are done harvesting corn. Field's done. Blam, bam, thank and mine. Whoa, way too fast. <clears throat> and thank you for the, uh, the help and tips there. I appreciate it. For you course play professionals. Isaiah's got his at 36%. I was going to try 36. Maybe next time. put it in the uh, front end here. That's actually not a lot of extra corn in the silo. So we'll I don't think we'll be selling corn. 
we'll just be storing it to keep that going over there because we don't really have a lot in storage even at 98 percent yield that it didn't give us a whole lot of corn and that's a good size field not small Harvesting is done. Take a shortcut here. We'll be able to see the first turn coming up. Let's see how they do. I love that, uh, that withered potato texture. Not cool looking. All right, let's see how he does on this turn. Is that, oh yeah, look at that overlap. Yes, beautiful. That's good enough for me. I'll stick with the 20%. That's beautiful. Because lately, every time they make turns like that, they leave a little crescent piece that it didn't catch. So with that overlap, when it makes that turn, it's beautiful. Only question is, is it doing the overlap? Oh, it's doing overlap the whole way. So that is wasting its potential. Yeah. So yeah, I'll probably lower it to 10%, you guys said. 10, 12, maybe I'll do like 12%. 7% definitely wasn't good. Uh, your no visible fish fish farm? <laughs> yes, my no visible fish fish farm. Isn't that, isn't that frustrating? I think the darn fish would be visible. That was a quick harvest, huh? That didn't take long at all. down and parked in the garage she's still still low on fuel even needs a little maintenance but eh. Eh. Eh, whatever I base it off the number of years SES will take to make it to Tennessee 36 years says Isaiah 36% easy for you to remember huh I have mine at 10% says Rhett and it's working good for you on turns and stuff. It's catching it all. All right. Nice little harvester. That's just the end game uh, John Deere 560. It does fine. It's been a, a nice little work course, eh? <clears throat> yeah, I'll be leaving this field bare because I want to put um, I want to put either uh, I want to put sorghum in it in April, so we're just going to kind of leave it alone. Just going to leave it alone for a while. With seasons on, you're kind of limited to what crop you can put in. We could plant grass or oil seed radish, but eh, I'll just, it's, it's ready to be planted when the time comes and bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, that's working good. Doing good. So now that he's uh, busy working on that contract, we can start prepping our fields. I think first thing to do on this one is fertilize it. 
just throw a little bit of uh, slurry on there. Don't forget you left the wrong header in the grass. Yep. I haven't noticed any many missed spots. What's up, Ronnie Gold? Yep, Miss Frosty's working in the tractor over there. <laughs> I pick up the traffic or the uh, I pick up the contract and just make her do it. Always got a surplus of slurry. Here's our lock corn. Maybe we'll fast forward a little time. I kind of want to see what the pallets look like for the fish. I'm a little bit curious. your glasses. Oh, missing the spots. <clears throat> no, he doesn't miss spots. He just forgets to put the whole front mower attachment down on his farm. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I didn't even realize you did it till you mentioned you did it. And then I was like, yeah, that explains the uh, middle section with that nice stubble look to it. He never cut it. It happens. And got dirty. Trailer is empty. Bailings all caught up. So yeah, it's pretty much field work until uh, we get stuff planted. I don't even think we have anything else growing right now. All our fields are in the harvested state. Which is kind of poopy. That means we won't be seeing any income Till we get stuff in there. Income from the crops we have in the silo, that's it. We gotta get something planted in the next stream for sure. Oh yeah, that's working out beautifully. All right, I'll let them keep working on the contract. Where the heck did my uh, Dutes tractor go? That thing's been sitting here the whole time, hasn't it? Oh! I left this thing running for like three months. I wonder if the fuel actually goes down on it when it sits. It doesn't look like it went down, but there's about a quarter tank of fuel gone. But I don't know if I've ever put fuel in it anyway. But yeah, that thing's been running since the beginning of the stream, this tractor. Oopsie. Daisy. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll use our free fertilizer.
And drop it like it's hot. You know you like that. You know you like it. Yep, that was bad. I did the whole field myself to no hired helper. It happens, it happens. I've done that. That's why I kind of get away from using those type of mowers with the three sections or two sections. They can be a pain in the booty. Frosty drone. Be nice if that was a little smoother of an animation there, huh? a bit choppy. Big mama field. LeBron is 14 points away from breaking Kareem's record. It took him that long? I thought they said last week they thought he was going to break it. So how long have they been milking those ridiculous expensive tickets? Because I heard about that last week. Uh, Mr. Flores was talking about it. Does that mean the tickets to the, the last games have just been ridiculous? People thinking he was going to break it? Aye. Thing's acting up on me. It's not covering at all. Why is it not covering that spot? Well, don't know. <clears throat> There's nothing we can do about it, huh? So some of these spots just aren't covering in slurry. I don't know why. That's why. That's why it won't, is because I don't know why. I don't know. Tickets are ridiculous anyway for Lakers. Yeah. I did not think we were going to get a full lap without running out. Impressive. Ooh, that's one way to go through this a lot faster is um, if I doubled the... Why, why am I not doubling it? That's what I should have been doing the whole time. That'll really go through the slurry. Jeez, Frosty. Silly. You have precision farming on? No, not on this map. No, I turned it off for this series. Just doing the good old normal style. Uh oh. All right, I guess that tractor won't work. Where'd I put my pickup truck at? And there he is. You can also hire a worker and set it to pull from the slurry storage. Yes. 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 Very good point. So what she's saying is, yeah, 
if I wanted to hire a worker, I could go into the settings of the game and have the hired worker and s instead of them paying every penny to just buy slurry, you can have them take it from your slurry storage, which at the moment is empty because it's all in here and it's in my storage tank. But she's right. If I had some in the actual dairy pens, I'd take it out of there. Truck's coming in handy. Ooh. Didn't want to spawn inside of it. Where is the stool bus? The field isn't basically flat or the field edge is too high. It will not cover I have so many issues on Iowa Plains with the same type of spreader. Yeah, sometimes the, the wider the equipment is, the more issues you'll see if it's straight. If it had a little flex in it, probably be all right, but it ain't always that way. You know what I'm saying? I know what you mean, too. Slightest little bump, uh, it just might not catch it. If I had my darn GPS mod activated, I could do some actual straight lines right now. But I, I, I don't think I do. Let's check. I don't think I do, though. Yeah, oh, it's a lease. Won't let me customize it, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I have it activated, though. I'll have to... Put that on my remember to do list. No, we didn't. We got outbidded, Isaiah. Yeah. They outbid us. My son was sad. And they did it in the last ten minutes. We were we were in the lead. I mean we didn't bid barely anything on it. It was like forty bucks or something. And it goes by every... No, I, I did 50. I, I went as high as 50. And the, every bid is at least $10 minimum. And that, like at the last 10 minutes, I wasn't paying attention, which I was done bidding anyway. 50 was my max. And they, they won it for 60 bucks. He points away now, says Kale. Oh my goodness. They're not giving him the points, are they? Is he working for the points? Or, or, or is the other team like giving him the points? I hate that when they do that for a record. They just let them make some layups and stuff. I'm like, get out of here. But hopefully he's, he's having to work for it maybe, or no? But we should put that setting on anyway, just in case I accidentally hire a worker. Slurry. Cow barn large. So now if I wanted to... Let's just see what happens. So they're using it out of the barn now. There was a little bit in the barn. So nothing's coming out of the slurry tank. And the top right corner is only going down slightly like normal. And now let's take a look at our animal pen. Here's our slurry percentage. We have 8,700 liters. Look, it just went down 500. 
83, 79. So it's you. That's ah, there we go. And hired worker thinks they're done, I guess. They don't want to turn around. So they put me in charge. What's that all about? Hmm. Well, either way, it's cool. Ah, this is that area that we destroyed the crops during the harvest. It won't put slurry on it. That's interesting, huh? Why won't it let... That's weird. So, th yeah, that's that area where we drove through it by accident. During the harvest. But why would that affect anything? Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Oh, they stopped because they use, what, do they use all the slurry? No. I don't know. Uh, they are making him work for it, but they are feeding him every possession. Gotcha. When spread us too wide, the tractor gets too far away. Yeah. Very sad. <laughs> yeah, so the, the AI worker thinks the field's done because of the, the widespread... Yeah, that's understandable. Still hire a worker. I want to. I want to get all the stuff out of the uh, barn. But at least on the straightaways, we'll hire one. You spilled diesel fuel when the harvester flipped you over. Might have been it. That area is still 100% fertilized. Maybe. Yeah, might be it. What's wrong with the hired worker, man? Get to work. Get to work, bro. There you go. Get it done. I'm waiting to see the trailer percentage start dropping. That'll mean the cow stall is empty. Saving so much money by not having to buy liquid fertilizer or solid fertilizer, because that crap's expensive. check on our contract. Slurry's about to run out. Uh, contract is 81% finished. Nice. And they quit because we have it on the stall only, so I'd have to switch it over to uh, not using anything. So we'll finish the rest of the field ourselves. No biggie. That's still pretty cool. Good thinking, Whitney. I knew it, I knew it was a feature. I just never use it because I just never use it. But thank you for reminding me. Pretty view, huh? It won't work. It won't. The worker will just stop working because the storage is empty. Yep, you gotta swap it over. Hmm. Ah, crap. 
I guess we'll go for the right side. Got one little strip to do. also never uses straight lines now I'm gonna start doing that I got tired of having to refill it all the time I agree between this uh, pickup truck being able to hold 60,000 liters of slurry and the tank itself there holds another 15,000 got we got a nice got a nice uh, operation going on and we got this storage tank down there I think that holds another like 40 50,000 something crazy like that Swipe down. Ba -bing, ba -bing. Lovely. Yeah, he'll break it. He'll break the record. He's still not the best. He's still not the best. At least not in my opinion. I'll always be a, a Jordan. Jordan fan as far as the GOAT goes. The best of all time. top off. I just want to get this truck empty. Start overloading? No, no, no. I want to fill it. No, 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 no. Wrong way. There you go. We'll get the rest put in there. That's right. He needs two points, and it's still the third quarter. Ah, right, he'll get it. He will always be in conversation with the bass. Yeah. But he's good. He is good. I'm just a... I'm a, I'm a Jordan guy. But I grew up with Jordan, so... It's like the kids of this generation grew up with LeBron. In their eyes, LeBron will be the best. That's, that's how the generation things go. This is how it is, Mike. There's enough slurry spreading for me. We'll get that slurry washed off my equipment in a little messy. Got a full tank ready for next time. We got enough slurry to uh, fertilize, keep like all the fields we own fertilized. It's awesome. 23 and the brand he wears is Jordan, so who is the real goat? That's right. Uh, you know when you're not the goat, when you have to say he's the goat to make people think he is the goat. That's a lot of goating around. We need goats. 
Arm sim needs goats on it. Official goats. Not modded goats. Official giant's goats. It was filthy. Alright, let's see how our contract's looking. I think we just have one section. Yeah, that little section by the red barn. Need to knock that out. Yeah, this little spot here. That's what I like about that field. It has that little little island patch. But look at that. No missed spots with that uh, 20%. But 20% was a little much. I'll, uh, from now on, I'll do like 13%. That should be good. This wee little baby section right here. Nice. This will be the next field I want to purchase. I want it bad. It's like right near all my equipment. Easy to access. This tractor's running low on fuel, too. Oop, just ran over the neighbor guy. Oh, there's a ditch there. Tom Brady, yeah, he's... I watched a little video on him. Um, forget the name of it. It was good. Contracts already finished, but just because I'm a nice guy, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually do the whole field. One little patch here, and it's done. And then we'll see how much the field costs. A little out of our price range. To the house we go. I'm just gonna run it till it runs out of fuel, and then that'll give me a reason to uh, buy a fuel trailer. <laughs> that's an awfully big rocks in that field. Yeah, I don't own that field, and that's a contract job. Yeah, that farmer, he needs to hire someone to pick some stones, huh? Don't forget truck rule, tuck rule, which he has come out and say it was a pass. Yes. He already broke it. He broke it. You too, Jacob. Thank you so much for hanging out, sir. And thank you for the gifted memberships, as always. Appreciate you, buddy. Take it easy. Yeah, that's what always did it for me, Poto, the attitude. The way he... Uh, presents himself as just yeah. yeah Jordan was just all about business he wasn't about the spotlight or nothing he just played he was there to win same as Kobe Kobe was he had his cocky moments but even Kobe had that just that focused win nothing else yeah those are those are two of my favorites I watch Allen Iverson he he was a whole nother story <laughs> but Alan Iverson was a blast to watch the things that little guy could do were pretty stinking amazing yeah I've, yeah never been a LeBron fan but at the same time he's good he is a good ball player can't take that away from him
Something sounds so good. Alright. That closed up. Nothing else in there is being used tonight. Let's uh, check out the contract. We did it with our own equipment, so we should get the full pay, which is, wasn't much. 4300 bucks. We'll collect it. Uh, but the good thing is we got another discount. So if we go up here to field map, this is the field right here. We go to farmland. We've got a 40% discount, which is the max I have it set to for how many times we've helped out that farmer. He's willing to give us that field for $115,000. We just don't have the money. We got 62 grand, but uh, I think we'll be having some money pretty soon in the near future. Because we got uh, plenty of stuff going on. We got honey, we got eggs, we got maple syrup, which is sitting right here. And uh, eventually we'll have some fish. All right, I, I got to see what these pallets look like. Let's. Uh, Let's just double check everything real quick. All right, so field two is harvested, five, six is harvested. Soil composition. We could use more fertilizer on there, but we'll wait. Oh. That's been mulched. We take away the mulch, we have one layer of fertilizer, but nothing's planted in there. And then animals are good enough. Let's skip to October, the second half of October. And by then we should have a pallet. Where's these stinking pallets spawn at? What the heck, man? I got 200. Wow, I only got 244 liters of fishies. Because he traveled. He dropped an F-bomb bad boy. Who did? Oh, did he? <laughs> That's why I said Kobe didn't flop. Did he just drop the F-bomb on TV? Says, oh, you guys multitasking. So we got 203 viewers. Most of you are watching my fish farm and watching if Kobe... We'll break the record. <laughs> and uh, apparently he just dropped an F-bomb. Very classy, if I, I must say. That's very classy. Oh, the pallets are right here. That's one way to break a big record. Let's drop an F-bomb. Good stuff. All right, it says live fish. Caution live animals, live fish. I can't see them. They're literally inside there. Quite a few fish, too. Hang on, Bobby. Let's see how much them bad boys are worth. Uh, fishies. Oh, 39.47. They're worth. Oh, they're almost at their max price. October. I ain't waiting until March. Uh, the price is climbing, though. <laughs> Excuse me. October, November, December. Yeah, that's not bad. No fish sticks. Maple syrup. Uh, we, we Actually, we could sell fish. Maple syrup. Uh, um, hmm. Canola. We'll wait on the canola. Actually, canola is not bad. Wheat's not bad either. How about we just sell the canola and we'll have enough money to get our field. We'll let the fish stuff keep piling up, but that's what the pallets look like, chat. Live animal, live fish pallets. Looks like one pallet holds a thousand liters of fish. That a nice. Yeah, let's go sell the canola. 
I want to buy that field tonight. I want to own it. Because then uh, we can get the stones out of it, sell the stones. I don't know if we'll do that tonight. But I do want to get that field purchased. I thought I heard that. I had to rewind a few times. Sell it all, says Watchdog. I'm just going to sell the canola because it's the price is real good right now. Sell a full tra trailer load of it. Make some canola pies. Ice Dragon. How's it going there, sir? Alright, so we got 88% full on the trailer. Get that tarp on. Fresh canola pies in here. That's gonna bring in 70-something thousand bucks. And I like the sound of that. I should have checked where it's selling the best, dang it. Canola. All right, we're heading to uh, Ohio Agri. I heard an F-bomb during the State of the Union tonight, but it was flatulence. Oh boy. Busy night. Big Rig Frosty with his fish farm, State of the Union address, and LeBron breaking the all-time scoring record. It's a lot going on in one night. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, people don't remember. I mean, I remember. And I know a lot of you my age remember. Jordan... Before Pippen, he didn't have any really good players on his team. I mean, of course, when Pippen arrived. But he had crap on his team and still was winning championships. That's just what Jordan, he didn't need anybody. He did not need anybody. I mean, LeBron, <laughs> he went to Miami with Wade and many other powerhouse players. And ah, that's one thing I don't enjoy about the NBA anymore, is everybody trade and trade, 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 build, build, superstar, like the whole starting lineup are superstars. That wasn't quite how it was when I watched it. Like every team had two decent players. You had your superstar and then your, your player that your, you know, your second big guy on your team, your big player. But yeah, the whole squad wasn't superstars. There goes the front end. Why is it not letting me dump on the other end? 40000 dollars on the front. And now we're selling the back end. Magic Johnson. Doing good, Isaac. Every finals LeBron has won. He's always had a stacked team. He did not have to work. Well, he worked for it. I'm just saying he didn't. You know what I mean. Another 31 grand there. So we're up to 128 grand. Let's purchase that field. I want that field. I want it, daddy. Right here, field number one is all ours. We're buying it from James Hay for a 40% discount from doing like five, six contracts for him. $115,000. Yeah, 
You don't have enough money to buy this land? What the heck you talking about? I ain't got that money. I got that money right in my pocket. What do you mean I ain't got the money? Balance 128, value 115. You don't have enough money to buy this land. What? Why is it saying I can't buy it when it's when I when when I have the money? What's that all about? What? My goodness. Who oh, more stinking goodness? Oh boy. Field purchase discount. We'll just deactivate it, I guess. Hundred and ninety two grand. So I guess the uh, the better contracts mod where it has additional uh, set, uh, settings does not care if you get a discount. It wants that full amount no matter what. First time I've tried to buy a field with the uh, workers contract discount. That's how they did it on FS19 for any of you hardcore players. FS19, you could help a worker so many times and they deduct how much the land would cost if you want to divide off of them. So that's what the modder implemented into the um, better contracts mod. But apparently it either doesn't work on this map or it just doesn't work at all. So I don't name. Sell the fish. I don't think, I, st I still don't think that'll be enough. The fish was only worth 25 grand. We need to come up with another $70,000. I don't know if we have enough stuff to sell. Bobby. Yeah, maybe we'll go load up some stuff anyway and sell it. That was all the canola. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what's going on here. on DJ Goham's Ohio series. Maybe try activating it again. Ugh. But is it going to remember I did the contracts? You know what I mean? Still, still not giving it to me. Like it doesn't care. It says right there, 115 grand, and my balance is 128. It's not letting me buy it, guys. man. I don't know why. But yeah, it's a bummer. This is just a bummer. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know why it's the that. Oh, that That's okay. No biggie. All right, 
let's go sell stuff. I'm selling everything I own. We are gonna get that stinking field tonight. Right, there's some eggs. Watch out, dear. Not many eggs, but $2,800 in eggs. All right, let's go get some fish. Sell the whole fish farm. That would be a little sad after all the time I put into it, you jack whacker. But you're right, that could be a possibility. See if any more fishies spawn. That might be it. Oh, I can drive all the way around. No, I can't. Dead end. So we got 6,000 liters of fishies. We'll also load up some uh, honey, maple syrup. Get this trailer stacked. I don't know, I'm not sure. We'll put it you under 115 with leasing and maintenance costs. You may have to quit out of the game and try again. Yeah, maybe it's counting all my leased stuff. I don't know. No biggie, it's not a big deal. We'll get it paid off. Oh! Pedestrian. So we're about to sell all my goods. See if any more honey spawns. All right, this, this is all this is all I got right here. Sell the honey at the uh, or no, we'll sell the syrup at the maple syrup stand, and then the rest of it we'll do at the sell everything. Sixty-four, about sixty-five hundred bucks. Goodness. Now I, all we got is uh, honey and fish, and some slurry <laughs> in the back of the truck. All right, take it out. Honey is not accepted here. You little turd. Uh, 23,000 on that. Why would honey not be accepted at the sell everything? That's weird. Why would he not? Uh... That's very weird, huh? Technically, that's not selling everything if I can't sell my honey. All right, that means we gotta take it to the farmer's market, which isn't too far away. We've been live for four hours and 12 minutes. I didn't know I've been gone that long. Jeez, Bobby. Uh, Kevin Flores Frost, do you think you would ever move from where you are living now or stay there forever? That's that's up to Miss Frosty. I don't have any say on that. You crazy? Whatever she says is what goes. 
So I'll have to ask her on that. I'll ask her for you, okay? Next time I see her, I'll, I'll say I'll ask her. But as of now, we have no intentions of leaving beautiful South Carolina. I love it down here. So does she. So to answer your question, no time soon. Not a moment too soon. Not a minute to spare. Thank you for the $5 super chat, Kevin. Appreciate you, buddy. Can't we just sell do and We could try. But I don't know if that's what... I don't know how much we'd get. I think we'd still be short. All right, so there's a little farmer's market right here. Should be able to sell the honey. All right, 5,000. Didn't think we'd have enough, but... You know, it is what it is. But we are we are stinking close to uh, being able to buy that field for next time. And depending on what happens on the next... Uh, time change the farmer's gonna do something to that field i think i'm having some financial troubles of my own and i can't send you any stickers out there. that's all right elizabeth it's all right don't you ever worry about it it's the thought that counts appreciate that yeah, don't worry about it so that was all my goods we have nothing to sell now Sorry. Truck's got some giddy up. Nothing wrong with that. He's a moving. So close. We bought another 35 grand. Next time on the Ohio Richlands Let's Play series, we need $30,000 to purchase field number one. Got a new truck, though. Frosty, do you know if there's a way to get into the cow pasture? If there's a way to get into the cow pasture. Oh, on Ohio Richland? No. I mean, you can jump in it, but you can't cut the grass if that's what you mean. There's no gate that opens. It's all for visual fun. Unless you own the field. I don't own the field. It's like $5 million or something crazy. But as far as I know, you can't get into it. I don't know. What was for dinner? Uh, Domino's. Because we, uh, we ate at a science fair thing for the kids. So there's pizza provided. Maybe try turning the discount thing off, save a game, turn it back on, try buying it. Yeah, maybe. But I'm tired. I think I'm out of here, chat. That's four hours and 16 minutes. I am ready to call her a night. But the good news is we got this thing up and running. It's pretty much topped off. Now we got our cornfield harvested. We got a wheat field harvested. Got the cows fed like two or three times. I lost track. Been busy, man. Been busy. So yeah. Fish farm is running well. Let's look at our uh, stats here. Yep, they're still stocked on good stuff there. Maple syrup's running a little low on water. Might want to do that at some point. Uh, cows are good. I'll have to feed them again before I fast forward time in the future. But other than that, 
Mine were looking good. Our money, I mean, October was our best month ever on, or no, 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 no. let me get now. Sold products, 33, 10, 55. Yeah. That good. <laughs> but we'll be back on this one again. I love this map. Uh, have a good one, Scooters Workbench. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Tony Martig, have a splendid evening. Andrew Ovidorf, adios and good night. Strong arm a mower over the fence. You could do that rep. You could yeet it right over. Uh, Frosty th uh, Burton, there you go. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I didn't even see a gate that opens, like an openable gate anywhere. It's just a fence, all fenced in, Burton. So, yeah. Finally made it. I'll watch the... All right, AJ. Yeah, I'm out of here, buddy. Four hours, 18 minutes. Uh, Robert Lennon, have a good one. Princess Harrington, good night. Outlaw Railroad, you have a good one as well. Phil, get out of here. But yeah, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Don't forget. Ash ooh, Ashton Corners time lapse will be tomorrow at lunchtime, 12 o'clock noon. It's about a just a hair under 10 minute video. Just a relaxing time lapse. So if you've been enjoying those and maybe you have a lunch break and you want to watch it it'll be there for you to watch all right and then uh as far as what map i'll be on tomorrow it's going to be a toss-up between valley spring and maybe ashton corners either way they're both awesome all the maps i've been using lately are awesome so at least I like them, so <laughs> we'll see. It'll be Bally Spring or Ashton Corners. All right, that's going to do it, chat. Have a good one. Kevin Flores, peace out. Thank you for all the support tonight, Kevin. Uh, Justin Abeta, have a good one. Tad Wundberg, good night there, laddie. Uh, thank you, Kevin Flores. Jacob Nungstia, Gary Snoody, and Stevenson, Chris Waslaski. Thank you for all the uh, super chats and super stickers. We also had International Harvester 3588 subscribe two hours ago. Um, it never told me that till now. But maybe I just didn't notice. But thank you. If you're still here, thank you. All new subscribers, uh, come back tomorrow around 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Hit the like button on the way out. Looks like we broke 200. Thank you for that. We'll catch you next time. We'll see you later. It's Big Rig Frosty Game, and I'm over. And I'm out of here. Sleep well. Goodbye.